Actually, I don't even have to take the backpack. I just get my shit back. That's all I gotta do. Nice. Okay. Uh, where is my necklace? My necklace is... There it is. It's a Halo's crest. I feel like I had a different one, but whatever. No, I don't think you ever changed. I might not have. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I got all my shit back. Let's go. Well, should oh, I go talk shoot. to Lohar and see if I can get information out of him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Please do. Okay, so Stream Deck updated and moved all my labels to the bottom where I can't see them. So I need to go and edit that. <laughs> okay. It, it, it'll that. be pretty quick, but it's just like... Wait, this is even weirder. When I select it, the text is at the top, but then when it's unselected, the text is at the bottom? For like what scene weird. I'm on? Weird. Stream Deck, why'd you do this? <laughs> Text should be at the top. At the top. Like, it's because I have the stream deck flat that makes it so I can't see it when the text is at the bottom. If I had it more angled up, uh, I, I'd be able to see it, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm certain I had another button there. This is the issue with updating right before stream. It's like, uh, things changed and now I don't know what. Oh, well. Let's see. Persuasion success. Like I said, I'm a silver tongue bastard without a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I have most of it. Yeah, whatever. Close enough. <laughs> we'll leave it at that for now. <laughs> okay. Where are we at? We over here? Uh, we're, we're over downstairs. Here. We're downstairs in the tavern currently. Gotcha. That ain't like Marla. Ain't like her to pull the silent treatment either. Something's going on. And wouldn't you know it, that blade she used wasn't any normal bit of steel. Belong to another of my people. Hmm. Guy's name is Mordus. Morbius? Alona, but smart as hell. <laughs> it's mording time. <laughs> it's mording time. He morded all over the place. <laughs> I'd like a word with the guy. We found the best shield? What's that, Buck? That'd be up to him, wouldn't it? No one's seen him in a good few. I've got some people checking out his house near the tavern now, though. Tell house near the tavern, down, okay. And they'll let you know what they've found. Truth is, they might be glad to see you. Reckon a sorcerer will have better luck finding one of their own. Good. One more thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The toy shield that's up in Niles' yeah, room. <laughs> nice. you got a target on your back now. <laughs> you might want to ask before I have Good job. <laughs> oh, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, I got a fancy pig sticker. Yay. Nice. That's better than my other shank. Fancy knife. Fancy. Wandering into the kitchen to, uh, to see what I can see here. To see what I can see. Like see. Oh. I have a stiletto and a weird dwarf knife. The Art of Destruction. Grenades. I'm going to pick up this book. I already read it. Didn't you already read it. Okay. Didn't give us anything new. I'm grabbing it because I'm a hoarder. Just dead weight for yam. Eh, it's only 0 .05. It's not that bad. Um, I also have some unidentified gloves. 16 physical, 11 magic, plus 21 HP, plus 2% critical chance. Is 
And those might be a little better for me instead of these plate gloves I have. Okay. Because it does have more stuff to it. Okay. Two Azangi. Oh, that son of a bitch did run while my back was turned. I knew it. Who what? The waiter. The the waiter that I, I bought the Night of Pleasure from. That motherfucker ran when I went into the kitchen. Ah. I fucking knew I was being lied to. <laughs> also, I did find a loose Dozer. floorboard in the kitchen. Hi, Dozer. Actually, now that I think about Sort of it, stream do... deck moment, yeah. <laughs> well, a little bit of Morbin, exactly. Yes, exactly. How you doing? Where is that soup I had? Soup in here somewhere. And there's blood on it. Uh, you all should come into the kitchen. Uh, Magister Steel, and there's some blood on it. I saw. Yeah. Did I talk to her to try and talk her out of anything stupid? <clears throat> uh, nope. Nope. Uh, somebody shut the door behind us. Okay. Um, sure. I. Okay, zangi has got it. Boiling liquids, sharp tempers. Don't underestimate the dangers here. Now, please. My day's going pretty well, yeah. Hold up the ring that you found, the one she took off the dead magisters. She grabs the ring and glares at you, like a rattlesnake <laughs> observing its next live meal. They should have just kept out of this. Offer her a chance to explain her actions. She gives you a defiant look. So. Magisters are obliged. They deserve worse than the death I gave them. I wouldn't taint the earth with their carcasses. Better that they vanish into unsuspecting stomachs. Oh, Psychopath. okay. Aren't you glad you didn't eat the stew now? Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, like you're an elf. You need it anyway. <laughs> you're right. You're right. But <laughs> we need to bring up the countless corpses we saw you munching on. The right. But, but I'm an elf, <laughs> and these people out here aren't elves. There's, there's a difference here. Um, <laughs> like for for Is my there? people, it's just the normal thing. For other like to have a dwarf eat somebody like that's unheard of and like really bad. You know. I mean, you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I mean, on the one hand, yes, killing my day's been good, and I, good. I like every week. I look forward to this. On the uh, other hand, she's a serial this. killer, really <laughs> and has been feeding her crimes to other people. To other people, but it's, but it's the magisters. Are they people? Well, she probably shouldn't dive down that rabbit hole. Sh shouldn't dive down that rabbit hole, but it's more of like she's feeding the the remains to other people, which yeah. hide her crimes. which tangentially relates them to it. They didn't consent to it. It's a yeah. whole thing, like the whole said, discussion. Like magisters yeah. being gone, I'm kind of like yeah. Th th there's if some was... magisters that it's like they're sort of like, you know, they've been misguided. But a lot yeah. of the magisters are just like absolute scum of the earth. Absolutely, yeah. Or whatever planet this is. Like the like the blind dude that we met in on the island, like he was a pretty decent sort. There's a dude that was on the ship who on the original prisoner ship who was like, Look, I don't I don't like that that you have to be collared. I don't like that we have to do all of this. Mm -hmm. We're just doing this for the better betterment of people. Like we we have to do this. Uh, we have to. Yeah, and to their minds, they do. It's yeah. Again, there's a lot. Hole. There, it's a rabbit hole, and there is genuinely a lot that can be said about how the Void Woken are drawn to source and to mm -hmm. sorcerers. Like they're looking at the problem from the most simplistic of angles, they're, and it's not an. It's there. It's not an excuse for their crimes. But it also is something to take into account. Yeah, they're they're looking at like, oh, there it must be directly cause effect instead of like there's a bigger thing going on. Yeah. But uh I'm I'm putting it up to a vote here. It's like trying to screw a screw into a board but not having a screwdriver, so instead you just take a mallet to it. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting me mallet. I'm getting me mallet. I'm gonna leave it up to a vote for all of you. What 
what answer should I give here? I do think she's gone too far with feeding it to people. That's a line I would not cross. Fox? Like, I agree that magisters are a blight, but also it's not okay to just feeding it to unsuspecting people. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm receiving these limbs, and I'm like, mmm, tasty limb, let's see their memories. <laughs> want to see it from the perspective of my character? That's fair. What, what would the perspective of your character be? There does it be like her secret is safe. Yeah? <laughs> I've lived longer than all of you. I don't <laughs> find this very good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, elf. <laughs> okay, I'm elf. What? <laughs> the whole I've no, lived longer than all of you. I've seen things you haven't. Yeah, it's like the that's actually how elves are supposed to be portrayed in like D and D, but not how they get portrayed. Yeah. The cook shakes her head ruefully. You should have just forgotten about all of this. I think this is a fight. Yep. yep. And I'm still yep. sneaky. Sneaky. No now sneaky. Now you're not. <laughs> she backlashed. Um, oh, invisible. Well, I love how elves are portrayed oh. in, in oh, this that's game. Good. The door's open. Ow. Uh oh. Uh, there's one scared person out there. That's all right. I could use some some healing. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, you need a decent amount of healing. Um. Just like a first aid will do. She hasn't got yeah. any real armor, so like yeah, she's gonna Andrew die fast. bleeding as well, so that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a flesh sacrifice. But yeah, Fox, I, I do like the way elves are portrayed in this game. They are portrayed as an actual different people with different ways of looking about things instead of just like humans with different accents. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like how so many people portray elves in tabletop RPGs as arrogant shitbags because it's like they can come off as aloof, but and certainly for especially for some elves there is an arrogance to it, but for the most part it's like I'm not assisting you in your war because I've seen how wars like this play out. This is going to be a lot of damage. <laughs> So I'm sorry for electrifying the blood, but I figured I could do a lot more damage if I did that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Encouraged. The squirrel is encouraged. The squirrel is encouraged. <clears throat> okay, Take evasive no. maneuvers, quackers. <laughs> evasive maneuvers, quackers! Our shield has gone mad! So, I know his name is like Quackers. But like, Quirk, Quirkus, Quirkus. So uh, yeah. I heard like Quackers or something the first time, and so that's what <laughs> has solidified into my brain. Go to the store now. <laughs> Nothing to see here. No murder. Uh, here, water. Oh wait, but that's gonna spread the electric. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, Luke's cool. Watch recipe. Magister Virgil, two hundred and fifteen pounds. Good marbling. Magister Herrick, one hundred and sixty-two pounds. Too lean. Magister Brandt, 188 pounds, diseased liver. Magister Fun. Stanley, 179 pounds, tough meat, marinate. Next, Magister Carol, Fedor, and Carver. Also, here's a foot for you, uh, uh, Seville. Since we just talked about, you know, eating people. Leg. <laughs> no, why did I pick that up? Wash tub, go. Um, there's a, oh, you found the loose plank, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's soap. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is this? Oh, it's a brick of soap. Um, I found some magical steel gloves. Uh, 20 physical, 7 magic, plus 1 thievery, plus 2% critical chance. Uh, requires strength 12. Okay. I, I finally found that. a mortar and pestle. Nice. I had a mortar and pestle for a while. Oh, that's fair. I could use that for the thievery, but... 
And I'd have to give the glove back for the extra health for someone else. Yeah. Oh, uh, for, for the, the thing you found? Ah. So you need 12 finesse for the chain gloves. But they, they give you 21 extra health. Okay, I finally have Stardust. Rob? Oh, I, I've had Stardust for a little while. Uh, <laughs> you said I'd send that over to Six of the herbs of Stardust. Um, bird leg for selling. Eat no foot. Pixie dust. Is cradled in your arms. Your vision blurs with tears. You look away. Uh, lifeless elven child is cradled in your arms. Your vision blurs with tears. You look away. To a raised valley below. Tendrils of death fog dissipate, revealing a victorious divine order army advancing. Humans, magisters, I have a lot murderers. of spare bones in my pockets. To a raised valley below. Tendrils of death fog dissipate, revealing a victorious divine order army advancing. Humans, magisters, murderers. You're seeing it through her eyes. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Should I make bone dust as well to make pixie dust? Yes. The pixie dust is used uh, as part to of the rune making process. Yeah. I think it's to, to make them and to upgrade them, right? I don't know. But yeah, I have four pouches of pixie dust in my pants. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a pixie dust. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh I can make a fire rune with that barrel of oil over there. Mm, small flame rune. Ah, oh, yeah, the pixie dust is used directly to make uh, other runes. Yeah, actually, pass me the uh, the bucket of oil real quick. Actually, I'm gonna test. I have a bucket of oil, but I'm gonna test something. Where is a bucket of oil then? Uh, next room where in Thrash's corpse. There right. Go on to pick it up. <clears throat> I love that the bucket of or the barrel of oil has fire on top. <laughs> <laughs> That didn't combine. Aha! It's a pixie dust and two small runes to make a medium rune. Nice. What about a large? Yeah, I got a large flame rune now. People are drinking. Eventually there'll be a fight. You planning on starting one? Okay, if we can do that. This is a tavern. People are drinking. Eventually there will be a fight. You planning on starting one? We may or may not have had a couple. I, I actually paid her to, uh, I, I paid her to be on our side when it does gotcha. happen. <laughs> um, when and if. She has a detained, uh, decaying touch scroll. Meh. I've got two of those. I mean, if okay. you want to buy it, then how much money do you need? Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I was, I was just mentioning that, like, uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily be using that, but. That's fair. Ask her to fight with you when the time comes, or I'd... should I just exit out, basically, or? Canuda? Sorry, what? Um, I, I, since I got talking with her, uh, should I say, tell her a fight is probably inevitable, ask her to fight with you when the time comes, or should I just exit out and I assume... It's up to you, I mean... If you wanna, if you wanna ask her to fight with uh, with us, then feel free. Yeah. Buy me a drink and I'll think about it. Buy me a drink. <laughs> Tell her she should buy you a drink if she knows what's good for her. Yeah, even that feels a bit arrogant. <laughs> yeah. Shrug You're and turn lost, away. Literally. Punch you later then. You're lost. Literally, <laughs> punch you later then. Okay. <laughs> By the way, who needs uh, who needs skills? Who's got their source skills? Fox, do you have your uh, the warfare source skill? Uh, I believe it was uh, thick of the fight. That's a big old book back there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just not source. That that's okay. We'll be fixing that soon enough. 
I have two Zakes talents. My word, but a pretty thing like you shouldn't look so exhausted. Have at it. Got you some uh, let's see. Chain lightning. Handed sword, magical elven club, basher, grand staff. Hmm. Uh, what are the stats on your staff, uh, Crystal? Um, just a second. Yep, yep. Um, currently it's forty-eight to sixty fire. Whew. All right then. <laughs> Round wind. This is ooh. This is a really fucking awesome wand. Holy shit! Yeah, I'll take this. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jay Z. Hello, Jay Z. How are you doing? It's wow. It's multiple raids. Raid. <laughs> Raid Central. <laughs> Two raids. Hello, Jay Z. Hello, Marvelius. How are you both doing? Hug the Gabo. Hug Gabo. the Jay Z if you would like it. <laughs> Marvelius is cool. Marvelius is awesome and cute. <laughs> Marvelius will never escape from that. Whisper, whisper in a <laughs> drunk tone. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good, Marvelius. Fox, Crystal, Azangi, how are I'm you doing treated? pretty well? I had to replace my KVM uh, because it burnt out apparently. Uh, but you know, new ones working great, and so I'm doing great. <laughs> good. I mean, Marvelius, you're not wrong, but also you're still special. For sore from kidney stones? Oof. That is rough. Yeah. How are no you doing, Jay? The tiny children's. You loony. Ed interrupted me. Doing well, except for Twitch not approving my radium out. Aw. Rip. Really? Well, that's that's dumb. Wait, like they actually would not approve it? Why? Squish the little humies with the cart down there. Just those boxes is still sore from kidney stones. Yeah. There's a magister like guarding. Nope, never mind. I thought this magister was guarding a cart of poisoned fish, but like. Try to escape by sea. Would he be that nope. Like these barrels say going? steal, but Stewart, then these ones. Stewart's don't. running off to tell Magisters something. What? Oh, boss. Uh, because well, uh, I I told him that the cook was the uh, the murderer. Oh. Still pending, oh, which he, is annoying um, because it approved. Uh, he he, he just disappeared. Disappeared completely. right there. All right, whatever. <clears throat> Goodbye, Stuart. See you Bye. never, maybe. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Stuart. Bye. Okay. Let's Let's see. A mass of bag of spiders. Uh, yeah, kind of, sorta. He was brainwashed, like a lot of other magisters. Ah, uh, yes, the place we invaded and stole things from. Mm-hmm. Okay. Azangi, I'm sending a bunch of poisoned fish to you. Enjoy. I suspect it might be because it's my Sona leading a charge with a trans flag. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that might be, despite their uh, supposed support of us. But yeah, I wouldn't doubt it, Jay-Z. Rip. Well, I, still, it's good to see you, though. I've been missing you. 
I keep meaning to, to catch your streams, and I just am not on Twitch all that often. <laughs> well, I am talking to a you barrel. You've needing something from me, lass. Ain't much inclined to rub elbows oh. with elves oh, if you catch me drift. I found him. <laughs> I found a thing to be decoded. Twitch support any person group thing. Eh, you know. Yeah. They're like, Would we you... support X group and then do things actively against. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> we support X group. Also, when somebody is reported for very blatant hate speech, we're going to do nothing against them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jay-Z, can I offer you a hug? Ain't no one been standing together since Lucian died. Who are you talking Ain't to, Crystal? No um, Canucks. Who is that? A, a dwarf over here on the fishing dock area. Uh, yay, I know, I just started talking with Hugs. someone. <laughs> That's fair. Do, do your talking, and then you might want to listen mm -hmm. in on this. Somebody's sure. hiding in a barrel. is very easy to lie but your actions never lie absolutely your actions always tell who you are that's why they say uh they they say that a picture is worth a thousand words i would say an action is a very good picture of who you are mm -hmm. an action takes the span of like multiple pictures you know <laughs> yeah that's several thousand words about who you are <laughs> <laughs> Fugitive. That's fair, Jay-Z, no ah, yeah. problem. Just your lurking emote, but submission. not lurking at the moment. Strangers. Hmm. Because I don't intend to end up with me lips stitched together, that's why. No, no, I shan't be baited. I like Papa put it, never judge a group by an individual, judge a person as an individual. Yeah. In, in a lot of cases, in some cases it's possible to judge a group by an individual, such as a group's leader. I feel like if you can't judge a group by their leader, then what the hell can you judge them by? <laughs> but, uh, depending on the size of the group, yes. I said no, and I meant it. Now, okay. Well, rip. I failed the persuasion check, so that's cool. <laughs> it, it's... Like, I get why there needs to be a persuasion thing, right? Like, mm -hmm. persuasion skill. But also, if you're going to say that it's X type of persuasion skill, I feel like that skill should take some amount, like, provide some amount of benefit into persuasion, right? Yeah, I, like, I not agree. Just, oh, this is the flavor of it. It, it. it, like, all of them end up being the same of, like, yes or no is what it seems like, of you have enough persuasion or you don't have enough persuasion. So... Yeah, which, like, that's definitely a thing that they need to work on, though I will say it is still very much an improvement from the first game. Gotcha. In the in the first game, the persuasion system relied on three different stats, mm. which, which I, if I remember correctly, were actually increased by other stats. Um, so, like, your gotcha. primary stuff did actually affect your, your three uh, persuasion stats. Uh, however... The thing about the persuasion was that it wasn't based on how many points you had. Instead, how many points you had decided how far you got in a game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh, great. Literally, it was, here's rock, paper, scissors. In order to win this competition, you have to get X amount of points before your opponent does, and therefore you have persuaded them of your argument. Uh, and the more points you had in a given stat, the faster your bar filled up. To um, be able to throw another rock, paper, scissors or something? No, no, it was essentially, uh, if you won that round of rock, paper, scissors, your bar filled up by that many points. Gotcha. Okay. And so it kept going until one of you it's... got all the points that you needed. And That's, it... like, kind of interesting. Like, it's different, but, it's... like, sometimes different isn't... Good. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was, it was, I think, interesting for the player versus player persuasion, mm -hmm. because 
as players, you could disagree on what to do in a situation, and then you had to fight it out with rock, paper, scissor. The problem yeah. is, though, that any player that focused on persuasion basically automatically won. Yeah. Because if they won even a single time, you you just were screwed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but player versus NPC, yeah, it, it was bad. <laughs> it was... It just tended to draw things out or put things at such a wild disadvantage that, like, it just didn't work. Definitely. Definitely. Thank Thankfully, they didn't do it very often. I think there were, like, two times in the whole game where it was used against an NPC. Um, So, like, it was mostly for the player versus player stuff, but even that could just be drawn out if neither player went for persuasion stuff. It was essentially, we're going to have to go through between 10 and 20 rounds of rock, paper, scissor. Hooray. Yeah, it it was it was real bad. You could spend a good 30 minutes just just doing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> just rock, paper, scissors. Hell yeah, that's well, my favorite way to play a game. <laughs> yeah, in, in a game where like the first three hours of the game is spent in the hub town. Yikes. Like, yeah. That persuasion could draw it out even further. Yeah, so was... early game, you almost had to invest in persuasion to, like, get out of it faster. Yeah, absolutely. You Either that or, like, you as players had to be like, we're going this way. <laughs> we're doing this. Yeah. And we are not disagreeing. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, like, talk it out. You know, before, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna start talking to this guy yep, in, in the good. barrel now. So yeah. Sounds good. Please, you have to help me. The magisters have gone mad. You've it's never different. heard so eloquent a fish. Pray, what wisdom does it bring from under the sea? This isn't the time for jokes. <laughs> the magisters want me dead. Please, you have to help. Please help me. I don't want to die. I don't want them to take me. Um, <clears throat> look over your shoulder to be sure you're not being watched. In a whisper, ask what he needs you to do. I just need to get out of Driftwood. I can't risk being seen. But if you can get out of town, I can escape to Arx. Arx. I've heard that before. That's like where the Lucian Festival is at, right? Uh huh. Okay. Please, I'll do anything. Just don't let them see me. Don't let them find me. Probably wait here a little longer. Oh, Lucian. Seven times to find. Thank you. I'll follow oh. your lead. But please, be careful. If the Magisters see me, I'm done for. Okay. So this guy will be following me. What I need all of you to do is immediately go to every Magister in the place and have them look away from this point over here. They need to be uh, away can you from ping the it beach. once more? Yeah, away from the beach to the west. We're taking okay. that route out of this place. Oh, okay. This person, um, the, uh, one of the magisters was like, I wonder if they got away by sea or whatever. Um, yeah. Okay, yep. let me... Uh, I tried to distract that dude and he's now chasing you. Oh, oh shit. Now stand aside. The Never. magister steps forward. What? Draw your weapon. Nope. Alright. I tried to talk to him, but then he decided yeah. to switch over. I, I think it was because I wasn't sneaking, so I think I need to be sneaking through here. Alright, so... Uh, let's see... Crystal takes some extra action so we can just fuck this guy up. Fuck him up. <laughs> Daisy redeemed to take a drink. Got it. I has been crippled to dead to dead to dead. Mm, okay, and then. Oh, hey. What's up? Oh, when I do a flesh sacrifice, I end up standing in blood. 
<laughs> oh, this is excellent. Does blood count as water? Nope. It's an electrified surface. Ah. Okay. Or an electrifiable surface. So I don't yeah, need to cast yeah. rain to have myself. To have yourself a gay old time. Yeah. <laughs> We'll have a gay old time. Let's see, blind radiance. Oh my goodness, I can just fuck this guy up. Yeah, kill him. <laughs> okay. Single turn, here we go. Oh. Okay, so now where am I supposed to try and find people? Uh, towards the west. All right, you is this follow guy following me. you again? Hold up, hold up, hold yeah. up. There's a person there. Fox, get him looking that way. Can he? He can't see me. Okay. Um, uh, see I if saw the magister before running back and forth. I'm just. Yeah. See if the magister goes into that building and then talk to them. Fox, stop, stop talking to them for just a minute. And then see if they go into the building and then talk to them. He won't? Okay, then yeah, this will be the best that we've got. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there any other magisters? Nope, 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 it's happening again. Oh well. Um, here, let me get close. Yeah, yeah. So I can fuck him up again. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> put on put on any buffs that you want, and then uh, and then listen in. Is Angi? What? Come come back towards us. I'm trying to get sneaky with it. I mean, we're in the middle of a conversation conversation, so just run up behind them. I've been having a gay old time for several months now. <laughs> That's great, Beastie. A gay old time. I've I've been having a gay old time with Marvelius for a while and with Fox for a while. Ooh. -woo. <laughs> you ready? As much as I can be. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Definitely keep the Tinkerer alive. Yeah. Uh, let's see... Um, he has a decent amount of magic armor, at least. Yeah, thankfully. Um... I mean, eventually, yes. So the funny thing was, Fox, even when we get out, a bunch of magisters are supposed to ambush us. So, you know. Nice. Take that, Fox. Okay. So why isn't that dwarf running to hit more magisters to come kill us? Because he, uh, when I talked with him, he's against the magisters. So yeah, a lot of the dwarves in this place are against the magisters. Oops. Speak of the devil, here comes another. Yeah. Oh. Are they gonna join in the uh, fight? No, I think she's just gonna look off at the sea. Blood cloud can be electrified or fro frozen. Okay, so. What about a blood cloud? So uh, since I since this area I'm in is on fire. Uh huh. And then I went and did the self sacrifice thing. It created a blood cloud. Oh. Huh. Oh, wrong thing. That's cool. Yeah. So we do this. Um. Okay. So that's not standing in the essence. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's it, it is uh, it has to be a pool of it. It it can't just be like a cloud. Um, I should get elemental affinity because like that'll that'll help me out with fire. Um, this guy is a physical guy, so I will put restoration on Higba. Sounds good. No, Just put restoration sure on Izangi. Izangi needs healing. Yeah. <laughs> we can regrow your skin, Izangi. <laughs> we just need to try hard enough. <laughs> exactly. 
Careful, you don't want to wake up next to a nail bomb. <laughs> I wake up next to a nail bomb every day. Every day. Every day. Hmm? Alright, he's... Wait, why would he be immune to being taunted? That's dumb. Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, immune to what? Being taunted. Immune to taunt. Yeah. Um... Oh, it's because he's stunned. Oh, ah. is that why? Yeah, I just looked at, like, stunned. Yeah, he's oh, being tased. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, because he's currently being tased. Yeah, he's a little too, uh, electrified to, <laughs> to listen. <laughs> yeah. Damn, this asshole's got some tough armor. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Run away! Why, why? Hold on. Why do you use favorable? What? Why do you run and then use favorable wind? Just you should have used favorable away. wind and then ran. <laughs> I yeah. I don't know. This is dumb. I don't know. Let me go. Where'd he go? go? He's he's right over here. Okay. Um, everybody make sure to rest up. Yeah. Hmm. What can I do for you, lass? Hi. Shall I even try yeah, to distract friends. the Magister up here? Good. Ever heard of that place? Yeah, please Before do. Joy. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, I'll find you there. Again. Means you ain't never. Uh, it's okay. Out. I'm gonna take the river. You, you've been there. Let's see. Right, there's source hounds up above, so I can't take him that way. Yeah, she ain't gonna come towards us, I don't think. I mean, the dwarf leans in and begins whispering. This fella runs along, right, sweating, panicking. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm coming back. I started attacking with Kanix again, and his his. I thought it was gonna be a quick thing because I thought it was going to be about like you know the fight that just happened in front of him. But no, no, no. It's this long backstory thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he got back into the barrel and thanked me. Look at him in astonishment. Why did he climb back into the barrel? He's talking about about this guy who was in the barrel. Yeah. Okay, so that's with, without just happening across the barrel that's how you're supposed to know about the barrel mm. okay where where are y'all you're down over here yes okay logging void tainted sailfish okay Take it. That's the scroll. Ah, acid spore spell. Mm. That's where he found that scroll. Of the tavern of all places. That cook had it. Offered it for a great price too. I hmm. she was an idiot. And then, and then he's how you learn another way that you learn that. Oh, hey, the cook is super suspicious. Yeah. Magister artifacts. She must be the one they're looking for. Yeah. Thank him for the information and take your leave. Once I get to Ox, I'm going to have the bath of my life. The bath of my life. Magical headdress. Ooh, uh, let me read out this, uh, this, this helmet for you, uh, Crystal. Okay. Uh, seven physical, 28 magic, plus one warfare, plus one hydrosophist. Sorry, seven physical, 21 magic? 28 magic 28 magic and it's one warfare and one hydrosophist it's a lot it's it's about equal for the physical armor it's a lot more magic armor but like usually i'm not dying to the magic armor um mm -hmm. plus i have some pretty good sustain for a magic armor now um yeah and my current helmet gives plus one finesse, plus two aeroturge, and plus one geomancer. So, mm, you said plus two aerotheurge. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not worth it. Yeah. Hi, Red. How you doing? Crystal, Spookiest is here. Hi, Spookiest. Uh, let's see. Izangi, Magical Chain Gloves. 16 physical, 11 magic, plus 21 health, plus 2% crit chance. Those are a pair of gloves I'm wearing right now. No, oh, okay. Uh, yes, Fox, that, that was a helm. Uh, plus 1 warfare, plus 7 physical, plus 28 magical. Spookiest says hi! Hi, hi, hi. Spookiest, the horror streamer now. Uh, no, no, Red. Crystal wasn't looking for you. I just figured, you know. They're the one of the admins for the team is here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let them know that a team member is here. Yeah, you said Red, and I was like, yes, that's that's Spookiest. Hello. Spookabus. <laughs> Spookabus. Okay, the warfare is tempting, but no. All right, then how about these boots? Uh, 28 physical, 7 magic, 21 health, plus 3% dodging. Izangi, you do a little bit of summoning, right? Yeah, better, right? Uh, no, necromancy. I'll take okay, so it's then. not summoning. It, even though you summon a thing, it's not summoning. Nope, technically, I am raising a corpse. I'm okay. too lazy, scared to stream now. Well, number one, you're not lazy if you're scared. But I do understand. Also, uh... Izagi, you should talk to this guy. Logan. Gurren Logan. This heck, I was looking at something. This fish? The sailfish? <laughs> the fish that I just picked up, or the, uh, the, the big one that you picked up? You just gave it to me. Void-tainted sailfish. A hundred pounds, Jesus. Nice. That's probably one we'll need to set back down. Oh, it's worth zero, so never mind. There's no point in <laughs> having it. Do I be the... Eh, it's just a ring. Nah. Commiserate with him, I'd say. He contrives to give you a sad look. The wife's got a sentimental attachment to that ring. Her mum took it off her dad's drowned body here on this very beach. Oh shit. <laughs> well, it's gone back to find the. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, That's a, bit a mischievous grin appears upon his face. Ah, I'm joshing ya. Scammed it off a drunken elf in the tavern a few years back. But still, the wife will be furious. I could do that. I could. But seeing as the ring has a bit of sauce to it, like as not, going in there will attract Voidwoken. All things equal, between an angry wife and Voidwoken, I'm leaning towards the wife. That, that's fair. I hate six. <laughs> I, six is funny, but also, yes. I, I don't like it. <laughs> well, I might as well get the dumb ring. Can you go in the water? I wasn't aware you fellas were ambidextrous. <laughs> ambidextrous. Well, if you your paddle, you can go right ahead. Should I just grab this? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a copper ring in the water. Oh, uh, hold up. Do not grab it just yet. Okay. Where, where? Because I want to put that down. Okay, now go pick it up. Except the fox is now carrying too much. Excellent. That's why I didn't want to be carrying that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, good luck with the poison and cursing. That. Ooh, I'm standing in water. So this... all my water yeah. skills are cheap. Yeah. And they can it, the sea... these guys. I, I think the C counts. I'm not 100% on that. Oh, my, my skills are cheaper. 
No, it doesn't. Mm. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, that Voidwoken fucking hurts. He's like the Voidwoken down in the, uh... He's actually only slightly less strong than the Voidwoken down in the arena. And then we've got all the Voidlings around him. They're all immune to shocking and stun. Yep. Well, some of them are. All of them are. All of them are, okay. Carefully. Isn't there a green one somewhere around? No, they're all blue. Okay. Yeah, no. Mm. Stunning and shocking are immunities. Immune okay, to used to be shocked. He can be used to be it was a, a nope. mixture nope. of blue nope. and green uh frogs. So it would be like poison and water frogs. Yeah, no, these guys are completely immune to a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Stun, disease, infected, decayed, shocking, but not immune to being set on fucking fire. Excellent. Immune to shocked. Oh, and because immune to shocked cannot... Cannot be stunned. Well, they're also immune to stun, too. Oh, they are? Yep. Yeah, they're immune to everything. Oh, at the very top. I, I missed that. Yeah, yeah. Um... And the Deep Dweller is immune to the same things. But they do take... Uh, the big guy does take extra air damage. The little ones take extra fire and earth damage, so leave the little ones to me, and uh, uh, Crystal, you help deal with the big guy. Yeah, yeah. Al. It's... Whoever just had that burp, are you okay? That was a hiccup. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, the thing's just on top of the, the frog. <laughs> Squimsh. I I do like how the void the the void woken range from, you know, kind of adorable looking monsters to utter monstrosities like the the drill worm and the deep dweller. I mean, it is a deep sea anglerfish looking motherfucker with weird little <laughs> yeah. steel yeah. legs. Yup. So the electrified yeah. water ends about there. <laughs> yup. Do I focus on the big guy or do I pick off the little dudes? I'd say you help me with the little dudes. Cause I can't I can't handle them all, but I can handle them a good bit. Now everything's... Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. They do that. They have cursed blood. Just yeah, help you keep healed? Fun. Yeah. I'm planning to use um the soothing cold this next turn. Ooh, curse blocked by magic armor. Yeah, these guys are spitting the curse crap. Yeah, none of us have source points to uh, lessen the curse. Miss, nice. <laughs> the Magisters are over here! <laughs> the Magisters on our side! actually gonna be useful yeah yeah she will help she will help uh let's see lots of extra fire damage they just see ooh void woken they don't know that we're sorcerers yeah absolutely and she she does a decent amount of damage as well even when she's right. aiming up the cliff yeah. Poof. Yeah, um... I could lend a Bone Widow down there in a minute. Or when my turn rolls around. Yeah. Restoration. Uh, Fortify. Um. Uh, 
he has attack of opportunity. Mm. Almost everything he does. Yeah. Actually, I should probably rephrase anything sentient. Yeah. The the slippery ones do not, but the big guy does. That's because they're just frogs. They're not smart. Can we do that? <laughs> they're still void woken. We've seen that they speak with the with the voice of the void. Oh. I. Ah, uh, Fox is only like, just barely in range there. Um. Global cooling, though. I can freeze two of them. I think I'll do that. <laughs> Freezing the ocean. Oh, but they had magic armor. Oh, that wasn't super worth. <laughs> ah, now the deep dweller has been hentied. I mean, tentacled. <laughs> tentacled. <laughs> Oh my he, aching tentacles. <laughs> he has been tentacleased. Squidward Tortellini. <laughs> it's just an episode that Patrick keeps like telling people how to <laughs> spell Squidward's last <laughs> name, but it's just a bunch of different words other than tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> the void demands cat treats. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we don't got any cat. Is that why they're attacking us? Because we don't have any cat treats for them? I, I think you missed, Fox. No, it just didn't get through the armor. Mm. Yeah, the magic armor blocks the burn. Fair. I can't wait to level up so I can get more memory so that I can equip the uh, Summon Hungry Flower. Hungry Flower. There's quite a few things that I still need to equip. Uh, Impalement, Mend Metal, Earthquake, Summon Hungry Flower. I'm gonna have to spend like several levels worth of, uh, worth of points just to get enough memory. I, I may have to just like pick and choose. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it turned around and slipped. <laughs> uh, excellent. I have 19 memory naturally. I, I have 20. Uh oh, cursed. Shit. And I... it went away. <laughs> it failed. <laughs> excellent. Let's see ooh can i hold on is this one over here running away <laughs> i don't know what it's doing but it didn't get away successfully <laughs> i just killed three of them awesome <laughs> okay um Spike, Daisy and Bolt. Dutch. Um. My bone widow is trying to scare it. <laughs> Although apparently they get, they change what they look like if you actually level your summoning. I think. So one kind of funny thing from being a serial lurker, your server has 69 notifications. Wow. Nice. Every every time I look at Discord, if I see a notification, I'm like, what are they saying? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what are you saying about me? <laughs> it helps that I'm only in like a dozen, two dozen servers instead of the like hundred that people are usually in. Raid number three. Raid. Hello, Zoe. 
playing Pokemon Reborn. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Hey, hi, Zoe. Target is too heavy. I that thing's uh, hands all over you. Here, I'm just I mean, gonna end like my turn. boned, but not in that way. <laughs> <laughs> the bone zone. <laughs> I still love that I killed three Voidlings with one laser ray. That was very good. I think it's because they they take so much extra fire damage, so it's just it just fucked their day up. Yeah. What's up, Fox? Did not say cool and sleep encroaches upon me. That's fair, Zoe. You go lay down. But thank you for the raid. I hope that your stream went well. I hope the Pokemon did good. Your skill that does bonus damage for it, something is burning. Is it usable? Uh, yes. It is currently usable. Cool. Though, keep in mind, the big Void Woken has a 40% uh, fire resistance. But, I mean, hey, damage is damage. Bleed fire. Bleed fire. It's still somewhat resistant to fire, but less resistant to fire now. I ain't got time to bleed. I think because it's sitting in the water, it might not be able to catch on fire. Yeah. Because even even though it doesn't count for elemental affinity, it Hi, does spookies. still give you permanent wetness. How you doing? It, it it's per just sneaking it's in. permanently <laughs> wet. Then again... There is a tiny bit of fire right there. It, you know, it's just that water <laughs> fire that you've classically heard of, you know? <laughs> it's Greek fire. Greek fire, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Percy Jackson was trying to get us to know something, you know? <laughs> yeah, Spooky, so you got caught. <laughs> Spooky's tried sneaking into my chat like a ninja, just... <laughs> <laughs> Do I gas grenade? Howdy. Go, Fox. Go do what you need to do, Fox. I would say don't gas grenade. Just stab it. Well, no, I was going to throw it at the big guy. Oh. Yeah, do that. It it will live through my turn, so definitely knock it out while you can. Poisoned. That's what I meant. Poissoned. So you're not a ninja? You can be, you can have the ninja spirit. You weren't super sneaky in my chat though, but that's fine. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> it's immune to stun, but not sleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ninja spirit. <laughs> Don't ask questions. So, Kanuda, how's that curse? <laughs> eh, you know, it's it's real cursy. <laughs> it's blurst. <laughs> it's blurst. <laughs> uh, this is probably useless, but I'm gonna give myself some magic armor here. <laughs> and that one's dead. Wait, what? It was oh, asleep. hey there, buddy! Ah! No. No, it was not asleep because Zongi then hit it with the Bone Widow. Ow. Rip. Jesus. It just got so... It just got three attacks. What the fuck? Um, you want to be rezzed? Um, wait until after the battle. Okay. Everything's almost dead. Might as well not take the chance that something will kill me. Um. Even if this max procs, I won't be able to kill it this turn. Oh, but it's weak to damage. Okay. Uh, it, well, <laughs> weak to damage. Yes. Good. Good words. Good words. Um. Oh, there's another void thing. Okay, I was I was wrapping up. Like, I was like, oh, I'm I'm gonna pull out the scroll in order to res you. Cool. 
cursed electrified water. Only applies stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Cursed uh, electrified blood applies shocked. Uh, Fox. Yeah, the, the flaming frog up there. Yeah, only that one is left. Careful though, you might get stunned by the wow dude. Choo choo. Naturally, you go pee and Kanuta dies. <laughs> Yeah, I think, yeah, these slippery voidlings are heavily resistant to air and water. 60 and 70% respectively. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yay! Uh, here, I'll... Why is there still... Why is there... What? Why is there still combat going on? There shouldn't be. Exactly, there shouldn't be. Maybe it's because I'm dead? Somebody res me. Nice, Red. As in, like, tabletop game? Like, tabletop group? Or, like, a uh, video game? I still have a combat thing going on. What the fuck? Weird. Hold on. Does the game expect for you to get res during the combat? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Um, where was aha uh -huh. toggle combat mode? Revolting. <laughs> the guy was like, "Huh, <laughs> a fight?" <laughs> okay. I hmm. yeah, I I just have a combat initiative up above me and the music is going but we're <laughs> we're at peace so it's all good it's all good eh whatever um Azangi you want to talk to Logan give me a second yeah ah nice Red which, which one did you get uh, Kingmaker or Wrath of the Righteous well that was terrifying <laughs> I need a new line of work goat herd high on a mountain Spice trader in the desert. Anything but this. They're looking for people to go to the Empire. How's it for Void Woken there? <laughs> Number one. Void Woken. Tell, yeah. Tell him that he would be going to war with you. <laughs> well, I'm embarrassed now. The wife would laugh. I'm always putting me big foot in it. My apologies, sir. Or madam. God, there I go again. Sir or madam. <laughs> well, so, my face is. so, interesting bit. If I remember correctly, the ring gives persuasion. It does, yes. Yeah, so your choice on what you want to do. I mean, I still got my set or my suit, so. But I'm assuming eventually the suit would be swapped out for like better armor. Plus the you... ring. Plus the ring is not part of the suit, so it would still add on. Well, I was more going to just gonna keep it in the background just for if we need to do persuasion, I can flip outfits. Hmm, that's true. Hmm. Mm, okay. So honestly. Should I give him the ring or? I th I'm, I'm going to gonna leave that up to you. You you get to make the decision, Ma Mr. Face of the party. <laughs> Funny. I'm King Dragon, and what the fuck is your outfit? It's my ass kicking outfit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you found it. How wonderful. The wife will be thrilled. Or she would if she ever found out about this, which of course she won't. I can't thank you enough. He slips the ring onto his finger, where it dangles loose. <laughs> where it dangles loose. I feel better already. I need to fatten myself up again so I don't lose it a second time. Can't be relying on the kindness of strangers to dig me out. The very best to you. With a new confidence in his stance, 
he turns back to his fishing. And that... Okay, ass water. That was our, our good deed for the day. Huzzah! The massacre. <laughs> Let's... Cautionary quick. pamphlet. I clicked yeah, right it's... before the save, so I stopped walking. <laughs> it's fine. It's just more of uh, the like, hey, beware of the seekers and the 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 sorcerers. Oh, they're bad. Yeah. There is no lighthouse. Unidentified two-handed mace. <coughs> Five to six earth. Thirty-three to thirty-five physical. Plus six initiative. Set slowed for one turn, 20% chance to succeed. Should we, uh, uh. What's up? This would be for Fox, if anybody, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, Fox. Uh, pass those runes over to me. The next time I have pixie dust, I'll I'll upgrade them. Uh, do we want to teleport back? Oh yeah 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 to the to the ship. Yes. Yeah. yeah drop your teleport rune and uh, everybody just right click and use it. How much are these worth again? Only Nothing. one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, so I'll step here, and then I will set that there. And, and use. use. Ooh, there's multiple teleport points we could teleport. set up. Teleport. The red one is in a restricted area. We're, we left it on the boat, right? Yeah. Good night, Marvelius. Um, okay, we so might be able so... to just... Uh, the Lady Vengeance is a teleport point. Yeah, so just so we can just go back into town and, and teleport yeah. that way. I Don't mean, go by the bridge unless you want to fight. <laughs> I, I can click the Lady Vengeance and travel there from like there, there's the anchor symbol. Oh, yeah, we can just click on the thing from the map. Okay. Han is back. I'll go ahead and pick up the red teleporter pyramid yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, um. Actually, set that on the ground. I want to see if it's because it's like cross areas or if this is just a restricted area. Okay. Hey, he got me more pixie dust. Nice, nice. Uh, kid, go get me more pixie dust. More pixie dust. The more we can upgrade these runes, the better. Okay. Can you throw the red rune back uh, down? Yes. Okay. There you go. Use. The yeah, the destination but Fox, pyramid. I've got to do stuff. The destination, the, destination pyramid pyramid the destination pyramid doesn't answer the call. Is something blocking it? Is what it says specifically. Okay. All right. So this is a this is actually just a, a fully restricted area too. Right? Yeah. All right. So we can use it out there, but not here. Right. Um. Probably back to Driftwood Square? Yep. Yeah, yeah. We'll go there. I'm just looting some more stuff that I can sell. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Some more odds and ends. Like reaching into your maid skirt? <laughs> what? Fox is saying something about that you like reaching into maid skirt i do like reaching into your maid skirt fox i really enjoy reaching into your maid skirt in fact any maid skirt for that matter but also i'm lazy <laughs> would making a joke about crystal skirt go too far crystal well you see I don't wear skirts that often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if you did, would that joke be going too far? <laughs> hmm. Perhaps not while on stream. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is you're okay with it otherwise. <laughs> I mean, 
you could read between the lines, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, I'm going to give you so many hugs later. <laughs> <laughs> so I just had a commission of my Sona in a maid outfit titled Sweet and Spicy. Oh, nice, Jay-Z. Sweet and spicy. <laughs> There's a pile of fish we didn't raid before. <laughs> Poison fish. Nice. Two is on key. <laughs> Send over that wooden box, a spoon, two bowls. Uh, let's Send over these fish. Oh, do we still have that uh, giant uh, sailfish, or did it, did you eat that, Fox? It was only worth... It wasn't worth anything. I thought it was worth zero. I of... am very... I'm still very curious. It was yummy. Okay, all right. It was void-tainted as well, so that's probably why it was worth zero. Yeah, yeah, the void-tainted stuff isn't worth very much. Uh, I just read one of the belts I could buy from uh, Haran as... Jockstrap, it's jack strap. <laughs> Excellent. It's a plate belt jack or jock strap. Excellent. <laughs> but it gives me sneaky and lucky charm. Fine. That and that with a pixie dust. Or I could get another okay. thing that gives me more barter. More initiative. I mean, I'm still doing barter. Like, all of my actual points are put into it, so... I'm just looking at the different belts I could buy. It's Anki's over here trying to take my job. <laughs> yes, Jay-Z, we were talking about maid skirts. Okay, I'm going to head up to the, this building here. I know that there's somebody kind of snoozing away inside of it. Where? Where is it? Uh, next to the tavern, this house. <clears throat> right, that's that's the tavern that, or the house that Lohar was telling us about. Yeah, yeah. And we want to ask any questions before we tell something something about ourselves to like, not spook them or something like that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, that's what Lohar was saying, right? I guess. He was saying to ask our questions before he got him. Because oh, yeah. He would be coming back. Right, yeah. The the guy that we're, that we're after, Mortis. Gotcha. The boys are starting to question my wits. I know the vulture's altar is real. I've sent too much money in the dig for it to not be. It has to be on the southeastern shore. Nowhere else left to look. It was right where I said only a few feet down. But where did I leave the rest of that cursed book? I've forgotten the second half of the ritual. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. The Savants of Stone Garden. Mangan Ox, who gained expertise in both traps and petrification, and, it is said, rigged his own stone garden sepulchre with a fossilizing mist to prevent meddlesome invaders. Interesting. No, no choo-choo. No choo-choo. This is a friend. We're just stealing everything in this house. <laughs> huh. <laughs> then slide it into but her right ear. How do I do that? Do it. <laughs> Bony <laughs> wet willy. I have no Want to see the yard? I can send it in the DM. Yeah, absolutely, Beastie. I'd, I'd be interested she in seeing. Opens her left eye, then her right, and wipes away the slobber. What's it to you, slow wit? What to do ya? The dwarf unfolds her arms and shoots to her feet. All right, lizard. Right, glad Lohar ain't left to see to wither. Those brutes are taking their sweet time down there. I gotta send word soon. Get to it then. But tell the lunkheads that Glenna sent you before they bash your brains in. Glenna sent you. 
So as long as he goes first, hey, yes, I'm passing. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's music. There's two guys on the other side of a wall. Jelly room. Um. Throw the lever, crunk. There's something over here too. Maybe a crowbar would open this thing. Pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever! <laughs> wow, I like how the Lucky Charm came up for one fire arrow. Thanks, game. That's not a lucky fucking charm. Beer barrel. 500. Weight. <clears throat> zero. Worth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can craft it with glasses and then sell those glasses? Oh! We've only been fretting here for a few hours, but it's felt like days. That snop-nosed priest's as slippery as a snake in an oil drum. Ain't slippery as a snake in an oil drum. Is up to. Only thing we managed were to close that door and get us stuck. And if there's another door out there, never could find it. Hmm. Oh, I ain't gonna be pleased. Ain't no telling where that priest has gone to. Started acting all funny not so long ago. Funny. The coop. Well, at first, he was just buddying around with Lohar and the rest, you know. But then he'd start looking all sickly and run off for a day or two. Then some stranger tried to get him with Lohar down, but got himself <laughs> caught and tied up. Ain't no coincidence Mordus went hanging around then. She taps her finger against her forehead. A woman knows things. Nothing's best we had off then. We've got business to attend to. Okay. Um, it looks like there's another door there. It looks like you sealed yourself in. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, I ain't afraid of dying. <laughs> How did that get opened? There's a lever on a wall. Warfare. Where is the lever? I don't... Oh, there's the lever. And is it this thing that's triggering the door to close? Yes. Yeah. Don't... Don't touch... Don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to said, take. I'm of dying, but... <laughs> oh, hold on. Ow. Take the take the stuff off the desk. Um, I can teleport you down. No, I can jump down on my own. You can jump down on your own. Okay. Um. <clears throat> There's a row of books over there. Very gender, very HRT goals. I, I could see that, yeah. Hmm. Amulet sent to me. Identify. Painting of a guy named Stalos. 26 magic armor, plus one huntsman, plus one oh. bartering. So maybe Canuda? Junk. Uh, send it to me. Let me see. For the purpose of bartering? Plus one huntsman, plus one bartering. Yeah, sure, it's more magic armor than I have right now. It's minus one lucky charm, but meh. Is that only, would that get rid of the lucky charm that we have? Uh, no, I still have one lucky charm from something, and I don't know how much, like, Izangi might have. Gotcha. I have... Two from my boots. Yeah. There we go. Jelly room. Okay. Well, we got more information. There's a door there. That 
Thanks. Can you open that back up? Thanks. Yeah, let's, let's just leave that open for now. <laughs> okay. This one's pretty macabre. <clears throat> oh. Missing an eye. A skull. It's missing an eye. Cause far as locks go, this one's pretty macabre. My uh, thieving skull. isn't high enough for that just it's yet. It's missing an eye. For as what? As locks go, just lock picking it. Ah. I don't- I don't think your thieving could be high enough, I'm just gonna say. You won't let me look at or, like, examine it. Yeah, I don't- I don't think your- your thieving can be high enough for that. Oh, it's like a specialized hole. thing. It's a special hole. Yeah. Maybe one of, uh, Azangi's eyes could slot in, you know? <laughs> Big enough. Special hole. Special. <laughs> Maybe my water balloon would fit. Okay, I'm zoom like when I'm zoomed out, the spider webs look pretty good. But I was zoomed in, and the spider webs are sitting like six inches off the ground. <laughs> They're just kind of floating there. <laughs> That looks better. <laughs> um, gosh, I, yeah. Oh, y'all left already. Okay. I'm in webbed. I can't move. Bye, Fox. <laughs> Fox has caught you in his special webs. In webbed again. <laughs> Oh, let's see what Lohar has to say about whatever. There we go. Oh, no, we haven't found that guy yet, so it's pointless. Oh, <laughs> uh, that that's such a good gif. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> it's just so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Undeployed displacer trap. A pocket special spatial vortex that teleports its hapless victim to a random location. Fifteen meter range, four meter explode rate. Boom. I'm gonna take that because I can. <laughs> <clears throat> What's Dude. up, Mike? Is it still alive? Yeah. It's still alive. It, it, it decided, you know what? I've probably had enough. Um, what? The cat's what here. Cat? Where? Wait, what cat? The one that wanted to eat all the void tainted fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. The reason yeah, why he's we still have a treasure thing we can go find. Oh, something nope. else? Oh, that one. Yeah. Um, I don't know that one. Ma! Ma, there's this fucking cat outside! Here. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? A fucking cat? Hey, don't fucking look at me like that. That's a weird looking fucking cat. Oh. Ma! Yeah. Yo, there's I'll a straight out. cat outside! Some other time, like I don't want it starting to fight with Lucy! Yeah. Lucy, Which it's okay. Should be, like, really soon. <laughs> it's okay, Lucy, don't worry about it. I have Ma! a warfare grenade. Ma, there's a weird a fucking straight cat outside! It looks. It looks like Grandma, the fucking thing! It looks like hey, Grandma, the, fuck the fucking here. thing! I don't even know if that's a fucking so cat! Tell the, uh, Blink, motherfucker! In head brigade that where they're. Ah, no, 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 no! 
there's like four videos of this guy like from, from what i understand with how the videos were created he didn't actually yell when the cat was there he went and like recorded the video and then dubbed over it afterwards so as to like you know not traumatize the animals you know but it, it's still a really funny video mm. ma there's this weird fucking cat <laughs> I, I hope the cat's doing well. Agreed. There's this dog running back and forth. Molly the dog. Oh, we've we've spoken to Molly. And that she was the one that let us know about the area the underneath the the, uh, the, the salt thing. The bad things under the sand are gone now, but things still smell fishy, <clears> so <throat> they do. We oh. killed the bad things. Oh, Hello. I found a thing. I don't think I can pick that. It's not locked anyway. It says it was an intricate lock, so I thought it would be. Molly the dog. Oh, goody. You're a good long tree like human. Yes, you are. Who's a good long tree like then? You. That's who. Would you like me to whittle on your leg? What? Okay, Molly. What? Because you're an elf. You're made out of wood. Yeah. Uh, you can do without the whittle. Thank I you. Suppose a game of fetch is out of the question. <laughs> I suppose a game of fetch is out of the Ooh. question. Okay. Um, there. Ooh. Turns freely under your fingers. You give it a couple of spins, yet nothing. The dial turns freely under your feet. The dial, the dial, the dial turns. Okay, we need to go outside of town. I do remember Izangu is right. There is a thing we got to do outside of town, over there. Yeah. Get out of town. Get out of town. Get on the ball. Are you on the ball? Yeah, I see clean detergent ball. Now let's uh let's wait for Crystal before we go any closer. I'm coming. I promise. My character's just a little bit slow, and also I was on the opposite side of town. <laughs> Hi, Lisk. You've missed uh, a little bit. Uh, Bun, this is Act Two. Uh, actually, right before we run up there, how about we take a quick break so I can, like, use the bathroom and go get a drink? Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay. The longest part of the game? No. No, that was Fort Joy. <laughs> Fort Joy is long. Like, this, like, this, this is much this, more manageable. Well, the, here's the thing is, Driftwood itself might take longer, might physically be longer, but Fort Joy emotionally feels longer. <laughs> Yeah, like, we might have spent the same amount of time as what we have in Fort Joy. Like, you know, there's, like, the first half of Act 1 and the second half of Act 1, when you're in Fort Joy and when you're not in Fort Joy, right? Yeah. So Fort Joy we... just takes forever. <laughs> yeah, I want to say we spent, like, two or three sessions just in the fort itself, and then, mm -hmm. like, two or three outside of it. I want to say three outside of it and three inside of it. Yeah, that sounds about right. I've never played Act 2. I just would steal everything in Fort Joy, then I'd get burnt out. Yeah, yeah, that's part of what, like, burns... Fort Joy does burn a lot of people out on the game. It, it really does. Like, that is one of the biggest complaints of the game, is that mm -hmm. Fort Joy just burns you out. I mean, there's a mod to skip Fort Joy, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I will be right back. Sounds good. I will also be right back. Yeah, uh, just quick little restroom break. Uh, it'll be about maybe a five-ish minute break, uh, and then we will be right back. So yeah, see you then.
I'm back and I am going to rejoin the call. Hello. Uh, what was the answer that I might know? Mm hmm. Huh? Fox says that there's. Blood Rush Potion buff is lost on death. Come back, kid. Uh, you would still have died, and so Comeback Kid does not prevent the loss of the Blood Rose Potion. Unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, it is unfortunate, but it it does still uh, act against you. Cheese is good. Cheese is good. There's um, oh, that I want to talk to. This is really uh, the, 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 the Meister is right place. here. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, if I run up and just heal her, <laughs> would that make them upset? Well, remember as well, eggs. Egg. Source point. Uh, ooh. First point! Uh, you trigger them. Source point! Void hatchling. Wow, they're so cute. <laughs> they are, they are kind of cute, actually. Being so tiny. I love how they just took the scale tool and were like, whoop. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, those two are gone. I didn't know black cats came from eggs. Oh, they don't. These are not black cats. These are horrifying monstrosities that want to kill the world. Uh -oh. oh, hey, buddy. And congratulations, you pissed off mama. I know. I knew it was there. Oh, its initiative is higher than my own. <laughs> Wait, when did your initiative get higher than mine? <laughs> my wand. My wand gives me plus three initiative. Gotcha. Okay. Cursed fire. Hmm. Necrofire. I mean, I could fix this yeah, when my turn rolls back around. What? Fixing the necrofire. Yeah. If you want. Because it's blood rain that gets rid of it, right? Yep. You're not gonna get close enough. Oh, surprising. You could charge through my spider. Um... But yeah, battering ram does not care about things in the way. You just charge through everything. A booby vampire? What? <clears throat> what about a booby vampire? Booba. I'm ready. <laughs> Resident Evil? I, I don't remember us mentioning Lady D. Blood Rain. Ah, Blood Rain. No, there, there's a spell that we have called Blood Rain. And it literally rains blood. Oh yeah, I forgot you'd said something about that. I meant to ask, was that for Fox? Was that for streaming or was that for something else? Yes. What? Was that for a game? Be usable right. with your mocap. <laughs> <laughs> K 
cast of light to move two inches away. Get back here, coward. I guess it's one action to fly and it went that distance, right? Yeah. That would be like a yeah, two or fly, three action. Fly itself is one action. Yeah. Nice. That was a decent amount of damage. Yeah, I had to hit the spider as well, but you yeah, know, it's fine. I got nothing else because that costs me three actions. Yeah, whatever, Voidling. <laughs> <laughs> um, like that's supposed to be kind of threatening, but also like you have eighteen health. If you walked in the fire, you die. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, right, Fox? I guess I don't have the skill anymore to move faster. I should add that to my memory in the future. Um, that's cursed blood. I don't put points into that. Applies to Kane. Well, I guess I'm going to walk through that because that's like my only course of action. <laughs> to Kane blocked by physical armor. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, remember that most status effects are blocked by physical and or magical armor. Do we want to swap out the Void Woken with the Voidling? Eh, I guess it would get it closer to Fox. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but there's steam, so I can't see it. <laughs> it's a fire cloud. You should still be able to see it. It's it's weird. Like, there's just little pockets where I can't see it. Huh. Oh, I, I had the wrong spell selected. And because, like, steam doesn't stop you from seeing through it. It's only smoke that does. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And what are resistances? Minus 15% to fire. Okay. Um. Yeah, I love that the Void Hatchling is more resistant than the Venom Wing Void Token is. Okay. Uh, just to get it a bit closer to death. And I think that'll okay. kill the Void Hatchling as well. Fox, here's the thing. If you do use the Lady D with a D... Uh, Avatar. Obviously, you can't use it on Twitch, but if you use it on the other website, whose name I completely forget, if you use it on the other website, you have to use full body tracking with your dick. <laughs> <laughs> a requirement. It is a requirement. Anthropod leg. Could be any invertebrate's leg. Really? Ah. <laughs> Can I eat it to see its memories? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, just because it's like super generic. Fox, we can change that. <laughs> there are cheap sensors available. <laughs> we can we can put them on throne. <laughs> we have technology. <laughs> We have the dick technology. <laughs> okay. I think it's basically go and talk with the executioner and stuff over here. Well, first I'm talking to Big Marge, the, the chicken over here. And then, yes. Uh, Didn't we talk with Big, Big Marge? Yes, she told us about the eggs and gave us the quest to get an egg back. Hey. And now we got an egg. Okay. Okay, okay. 
grabs the egg with her foot, kicking it under her warm underbelly and settling down upon it contentedly. Shh, little Fifa baby, Mama's here, warm and here with you again. She cocks a black eye up at you and winks. Thank you. Oh, ah! I a cat. <laughs> Behind the coop. Behind the coop. Ah, no. No one saw it first. Mine. Oh. Ruby. Ooh, so now we go back down. <clears throat> yeah. Did you expect a need? Okay, let's let's rescue Magister Siva and then we can go see if we can unlock that door. Sure. It's cool how all these like little pieces are tying together. Mm -hmm. If this ties together, you know. Oh, I'm like the shape of it I'm, and the color. I'm almost certain. Yeah. All right. Well. Where's our talking friend? <laughs> Sneaking. It's going to be hard to be the talker when you're also the sneaker. I'm sorry, they approach while she's just sitting there? I know, right? That's internal order business. You do well to leave it alone. Let's just say Zeus in there was of help to sorcerers and leave it at that. Hmm. You're going to what now? What now? Do it. Offer her the opportunity. Betrayed, <laughs> Alexander. I'd sooner die than free her. Strength persuasion, hell yeah. <laughs> Even though we didn't kill Alexander. We brought him within an inch of his life, but we didn't kill Alexander. Yeah, I don't got the strength for that. The wits persuasion one sounds even more hilarious. The writ that Magister Raymond gave us and just be like, we're taking her. Yeah. <laughs> My wits aren't that good either. Uh, hold on. I can fix that. Rip. It's four anyway. There you go. Now it's ten. A little late. A little late. Uh, why didn't Why didn't you wait? <laughs> because I didn't know I was going to be four until after. I told you I can fix that. <laughs> after I'd already done the thing. That no. I four. No. I... <laughs> Isagi, you were looking at them, and I was like, oh, wait, hold on, I can fix this. <laughs> so that gives me persuasion. It gives you wits. We don't actually know how that, how the stat thing's affected, if it, like, lowers the amount of persuasion that's needed or what have you. That's no. something I do want to look up, is, like, what in the hell do the stat things even do? It's Should I think more flavor text? Because, yeah, even with Constitution, I have 16 points in that, and it was still Please. four. Why would I kill Should you? I Hold go on. ahead and heal her up? Uh, Give me just a moment. I'm going to look this up. Divinity Original 2. How does persuasion work? Okay, so what it does, uh, you do still need X points in Persuasion to pass a given check. However, X can be lowered by having a high stat in the relevant attribute. 
it is it specifically it lowers it by having more points than the target if you have more finesse than the target finesse persuasions get easier um so it's kind of a dice roll if it will help or not right it it still is if you're a finesse character then it is still more likely to help you than going for a strength one right but, right. Uh, in that case i was fucked either way because it was a strength constitution <clears throat> or wits yes and i can give you plus six wits that wouldn't have given me much because she has 20. yeah how do we know how much do you even know what they oh it just says uh, you on can, the character you can... Yeah, you can right click her. Yeah, the huh. exact numbers are escaping me at the moment, but I believe it's something like every two or four points over takes off one required persuasion. That does beg the question: if if they have more, do are you at a penalty then? Yeah, true. Also, I need Dio to stop spamming the barrel trauma chat. <laughs> I keep seeing that number. The the. Uh, notifications going up on my yeah, discord I, and i'm just like stop it stop I it i clicked into discord and i'm like oh my goodness there's so many messages <laughs> yeah all right uh yeah feel free to uh heal master siva if you want uh heal master siva sure i will i yeah. will do yeah feel free yep so i will first aid I did not kill Alex. Huh. they just don't care. Okay. Yeah. Apparently. So we'll wait for your uh, abilities to, to cool down. Yeah. Four actions. Mm hmm. Or four turns, I guess. I would use Supernova, but I feel like I'd kill Meister Siva in that case. Um. Yeah. I'm going to rest and then I'm good to start fight. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me know. Let me know when to launch the uh, the fire at them. Whenever. All right. Uh. Oh, there's three more targets off to the side. Oh, dogs. Bruiser. <laughs> Bruiser, no. Oh my goodness, all of my physical armor is gone already. <laughs> um, well, let's just lower my constitution, really drive the point home, you know, and... Uh... Executioner Ninion. I do like how the faces on the portraits are actually just a picture of your character's face instead of, like some random picture that you could have it, it yeah. is just your character um uh she's like through the ground what's happening to her yeah i don't know that's weird <laughs> Well, we just have to be careful about hurting Siva. We do not want to. We do not want to kill Siva. Yeah. Mm, I'm gonna do this. Nice. Wait, how did he get stunned, but this guy only gets shocked? What? I don't even know. Like I directly attacked him. I'm have so a confused. good one, JC. Thank you again for the raid. Hope you have a good night. Uh, Master Siva just died. What? <sighs> Rip. <laughs> Oh, 
I wonder if we can, if I can count us off, if we can, uh, if, if we can hit the, uh, that one Magister all at once and prevent the others from showing up. Um, I wonder if instead of you casting fire, I wonder if I cast rain and then a spell that would shock them. Um, or, or stun see. them because they'd be the wet, silent, right? The Silent Watcher would would get stunned from it because he has no magic armor. For the mm. other one, you would need to do something to get rid of her magic armor. So maybe yeah. make her wet and then hit her with like a dazing bolt. Yeah. But yeah, that'd work. Do I have a dazing bolt? Um. Yeah, it's the lightning bolt from the sky. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh my goodness each of these th this is a whole wall of text it's like each individual messages mm -hmm. like we could look at like i appreciate excitement but also this is just the patch notes <laughs> yeah let's say hold on a tick i had an idea okay Why would I, kill you I remember there was a belt there that had persuasion um mm. here let me heal her up again mm-hmm yeah, he'll he'll see if up. We'll we'll start getting ready. And Azangi said he was going after a belt that has persuasion. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. Let's give her armor of frost. And let's fortify her. Apparently, when we restarted, that shifted his inventory. It's not in here anymore. Shit. Hmm. Okay. Different idea. I'll be back in a few seconds. Going okay. <laughs> Why would I kill Lucy in second? <laughs> I'm going to cheese this. Nobody move. I dropped the bride. <laughs> hey. This will be cheesy as hell, but we're doing it. Excuse me. Release me. <laughs> kind of funny though. The trailer shows a clown happily going into combat in pressurized water without a suit on. Did they return Water Prankster to his former glory? <laughs> I hope so. Why is Dio excited about the portable item finder? My, uh, the assistant could already get a portable item finder. You, oh, poor dwarf. Do you even know what they've done to you? None of your skills are tailored for friendly outside of Onslaught? Oof. As I will, there is a way to cheese the game. <laughs> I did not okay, I am back. Sorry. Stupid, eh? this All good. Although I am slow as hell. So what you're saying is I should go ahead and throw fire at them. I mean, that's entirely up to you. You want to actually go into fighting. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say no to the XP. I've almost leveled up. Actually, something I am very tempted to do is set an undeployed displacer trap in the path of the enemies that are coming up. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> nice. Oh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Persuasion success. Yes, it like I said, it was four. All right, I'll stand aside. Wait. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my trap. Rip. Welcome to Driftwood, God. <laughs> Welcome to Driftwood. Cracks open, glittering gold appearing from beneath the swollen lid. Chased. <laughs> Chased you all the way here from Fort Joy, did they? Very well, then. Cut me down. There is work to be done. Or, indeed, you could stand there gulping as if I'd just run off with your femur. You might not have the brains anymore, but I pray you've managed to keep some wits. <laughs> you know, you don't gotta be a bitch about this. I just saved your life. Be quick about <laughs> it. Who knows when that magistrate might return? God's teeth, it's good to mum again. Now, best scurry off before that magistrate wanders back. You walk very slow. So She's I guess limping. you. Yeah. Hey, I healed you like all. She's... Yeah. It's almost like she's been hanging by her hands for hours. Yeah. Fortune Seville working with the magister that got blown up at the start that cut their own tongue out. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, magister Siva was working with all of the magisters. Or Meister Siva was working with the magisters that were uh, seeking to help the sorcerer. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's. Want to talk with the kid? Kid. The Meister's back. The Meister's back. The Meister's back. She doesn't feel <laughs> like playing, but. <laughs> she doesn't feel like playing. Um. I wish I hadn't seen that. Uh, what? What? The little girl. If you go with the trade, like there, there's the trade spot. She has 32 gold and panties. Why? It, Why? Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, Why? That's, mm, Why? Just why? That, Why? Mm. Why? Why? I sincerely, I sincerely hope that's just the randomized items that people have on themselves instead of a thing they decided to give a child. Like, obviously, yes, children can wear that, but also, like, why would it be a thing that you could purchase from the child? As I said, that's why I was hoping it's just part of the randomized loot that's on people. Because yeah. before you kill something, you can see what they have on them by pickpocketing them or trading with them. Gotcha. So that's, yeah, that's what I'm hoping it's just the randomized loot and not something that they decided to give a child. Yeah. On the origins of Lucian. Oh, geez, this man has seven more resurrection scrolls for purchase. I'm just. Yeah, just grab them all. That. Just gonna go ahead and grab that. All right, split that up amongst everybody. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Split into three. Split three. Send to Sabeel. Send to Amelia. Nice. Perhaps you have noticed the safe in the floor. You will find it just beside the wall bed. Safe on the floor. You will find it just beside the wall bed. I believe you are capable of that. Oh. She's going to call out the combination? Mm-hmm. Is she gonna maybe rotate it and see if she says something? I don't know. Somebody talk to her and get her to call it out.
Okay. Um, right, left, right, right, oh, right, wait, left. Uh, no, stop. Nope. Nope. You're not doing it that fast. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Right, left. Right, right, right. So three rights. Okay. Left, left. Uh-huh. Right, uh -huh. left, left. Nothing. Uh, let me let me go back in. Okay, starting off, it's we can right, go left, until you open correct. The safe in the floor. It's the combination is fifteen R thirty four L. Do we actually have to click it right fifteen times? L is that what she says? It's 15R, 34L, 23R, 35R, 9R, 16L, 33L, 45R, 51L, 1L. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. Tapped my mic. I'm sorry about that. Until you open the safe in the floor, the combination is fucking ridiculous. It's what? Hey, it's open. But it's shocking to know that it is actually very accurate to true lock picking. I mean, in terms of using an actual safe, yeah, that's an actual combination. But <laughs> that was not the the thing that we saw down there. Permanent source pool. Ooh. Shoes of the Acolyte. Plus 0.5 movement. I am throwing the Red Pyramid down here. I know I asked before if we really wanted to, like, constantly have to go back and forth, but I'm just gonna, like, wisely use my source points. Yeah. <clears throat> Time is at hand, Godwood. <laughs> On Sorcerer, part three. Ancient rooms, weird contraptions. This place is an arcanist's dream. Feel free to look about while I catch my breath. Oh, shit. Uh, the most powerful scrolls are made with source orbs. These are source skills that you can cast at will without requiring source. One example is to start writing a scroll as you would write any pyrokinetic scroll with something sharp, but use the source orb as an ingredient. Epidemic of fire scroll. Excuse me? Uh, I just found a source orb. <laughs> um, I need a large is... tusk. I need a large tusk and a source orb immediately. Um, Give well, me. <laughs> well, here is source orb. <laughs> Thank you. And also a skull. <laughs> and I also need this thing that says incinerator. Uh huh. It's an incinerator. It, it sure do incinerate. Yeah. I I I need a tusk. I need a tusk. Tusk. Need. <laughs> oh. Oh hey, Medusa head skill book. Nice. Uh, let's A couple more barrels over here. Nope. Nope. Hello, okay. Mr. Steva. Ooh, hungry flower no, scroll. Just... You should listen in to what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it. Click. Siva asked me, do you know what it means to have the power of the divine? I'm going to say I know less about divinity than I do about sin. Divinity. It's time to smarten up. 
This responsibility isn't one of the meek, the selfish, or, in your case, the ignorant. Oof. No. Becoming the divine means taking on the power of all the gods and the responsibility for all the races. The divine was created by the gods to shelter us from the void. The divine cannot use her power for anything else. Funny, since Lucian did whatever the fuck he wanted. Yeah. When you become the divine, there is no more self. For just a moment. Lucian would disagree. Maybe that's why he went in my head? Interesting concept, yeah. I, I don't know. It is no small thing to ask, but it is your duty. Without a new divine, Rivalon will die. Very well, then. Let's see if we can't snatch divinity from the jaws of the void. The ritual itself is quite simple. Drop some black root in the bowl, mix in a little blood, set the concoction aflame, and then inhale the smoke. Ignore any feelings of dizziness, burning in your lungs, or a dire sense of existential dread. <laughs> They're all perfectly normal. Although you will need to sacrifice a little sauce along the way. Everything you need is here. Ingredients in the cupboard. Sauce in the glowing fountain. Ritual in the tome by the bookcase. Even an incinerator to provide a flame. Hmm. The Meister looks back at her wounds, curiously prodding them as fresh blood oozes out, staining her claws. Observe that her cuts look pretty bad. Quite. Mind you. Being torn asunder by a void woken would be even more inconvenient. So if you wouldn't mind. The Meister points sharply to the ingredients covered. Pause for a moment. Ask if she's ever seen the ritual performed before. Once, although not by a god woken. My assistant did not believe that one had to be chosen by a god to become divine. She mm. waves a bandaged hand absent mindedly, wincing slightly. A headstrong and thoughtless girl, but the experience was <coughs> was quite educational. From observing her, I gather that the ritual involves inhaling the smoke, a lot of screaming, and a rather sudden death. <laughs> Great! <laughs> Fantastic! She oh. let her assistant go through with that, even though she wasn't god -broken. Well, certainly. It is not my place to police the stupidity of others. Hmm. She was your assistant. It is quite literally your job to police the stupidity of others. Yeah. I have to admit I was curious. Imagine if it had been a success. Why then anyone could have ascended. Even I alas. Success was beyond her reach. Quite fascinating to watch though. I've never seen a body burn from the inside out before. Well, at least I'm sure I'm got broken. And do not lose anything. These ingredients are rare indeed. I'm not hiking back out to the cloister with to fetch more black meat. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I do wish we could kill Meister Siva, but unfortunately we need her alive at the moment. Okay, I've got a bowl. Anybody got the black root? I was about to say, I've already got mine set up. Oh, you got yours? Okay, then yeah, you go ahead and throw yours in the incinerator. Don't worry, Fox, you'll have plenty of chance to smashy smash. Smash. <clears throat> Fucking hiccups. <coughs> it's What's going that? pretty good so far, Liz. We've done most of the things in the. Uh, I think we walk the into the here. smoke. Uh huh. As you, suck the smoke you interact your with lungs, it. Your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. Hold the fumes in your lungs and ignore the thumping in your head. Yeah. As the world fades away. And again, since we're now coming to talk to our gods again, we before we talk to any of our deities, let's discuss real quick. Do we want to hold off on our conversations so that we can all listen into the conversations? Or do we only want to do that for like one or two people who are going to have special things to say? Or not at all? Um, Like... Losa will, I feel like any interaction with the being inside of her mm -hmm. is going to be rather informative. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'd at least like to hear about Losa. Um, of course, I'm going to see my own, but 
maybe that would be interesting for others. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, I already know the elf one. Gotcha. Yeah, Fox, I mean, it's, it's, if you would like to see what's being said to others, I, probably the thing that's said to Izangi is going to be largely the same as what's going to be said to you. Go do your bathroom thing, uh, Fox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Products of a drunk fox means a fox that has to piss a lot. <laughs> <laughs> True. Fox is the meme of that one guy being like, I can't talk right now. I'm making piss. Well, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> There's a meme of a dude that's just like, I can't talk right now. I'm making piss. And he like puts on some glasses, holds up a two liter of water, and just starts chucking it. Okay. <laughs> sure. It's just, it's just really funny and out of nowhere. But it's <laughs> just one of those gags that just kind of sticks with you <laughs> hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna look that up because it is funny i'm making piss i can't talk I will say, uh, probably should not play it to where it can be heard on your stream, because it does have a copyrighted song. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> Which is why I'm going to mute my microphone, and then I'm going to play. Uh, this is interesting. I was expecting the god to be here, but it's Sabeel instead. Interesting. I am back. But no, you should uh you should be mute your microphone entirely and look at the uh <laughs> look at the video that I sent. It's in no mic chat. <laughs> hmm. by, it's made by Hubert B. Wolfeschlegelstein Hausenbergerdorf Senior. Senior, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That is a name. <laughs> I have seen this picture before. <laughs> I'm sure you with, have. These glasses stick with you. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't remember the video until I saw the glasses. And it's like, <laughs> I, I have seen now this before. You, now you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they're they're uh, just... <laughs> Excuse me. The whole they're thing just is so just so small. out of nowhere. I know, right? They're so small, but they perfectly cover his eyes. <laughs> it's like everything about that just kind of sticks with you. <laughs> like, I would be utterly confused by anybody in real life actually wearing sunglasses like that. Because I mean, they provide basically like the, the point of sunglasses is to protect your eyes. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's doing, like, the bare minimum. Like, only if you're looking directly those, ahead and the light's coming directly at you. Those are those are fashion glasses. That yeah. is what those are. Th those are the things that um, Helsing wears, aren't they? Like Van from, Helsing? Uh, the Hel no, from the, uh, the, the, the Helsing anime. Uh, no. Alucards were a bit bigger. Were they a bit bigger? Okay. Yeah, they were, like, full. Also had the things on the sides. His glasses that's, are different than those. Uh, that's, Fox, that sounds like a decent idea. Yeah, Fox, you and Izangi, go ahead, since, yeah, yours will be identical. He looks haggard and weak. His voice merely a feeble echo of your own. My child, come. Come closer. So that you may see me as I truly am. Yeah, might as well walk closer to myself. My child, it is time. My, my child? What? <laughs> the apparition clasps your face in shaking skeletal hands, and you feel a tingle run through your bones. Everything becomes brighter, sharper, 
Blacks and whites become glorious bursts of color before fading back to their accustomed spectrum. Time to open the eyes. You lost so long ago. Speak the spell and see. Okay. Spirit oh. vision. You can see spirits. You know me now, don't you, child? I saved you when the ship went down. I blessed you, made you powerful, and now I've come to seek some power in return. Your god-woken soul is my last refuge, my last bastion. And now you have brought me a gift. Amadia stretches out and nourishes herself from the source that abounds in your presence. You feel it deep down inside yourself as it drains away. Ah, oh, yes. That is better. That is so much better. Truly, dying does not become a god. The void itself is hunting down the gods, leeching us in ways we never thought possible. Droplet by droplet, we are being drained. Hmm. We are battling for our very survival, <clears throat> and we are losing. Should we truly perish, all will be cast into oblivion. Indeed, there is. To save us both, as a matter of fact. Hopes if your headphones you are plugged in. <laughs> probably, probably would, Fox, yeah. As one, just as our souls are now as one. It's the same issue I had before stream. <laughs> Together we are a force to be reckoned with, but if we seek to survive the onslaught of the void, I'll we stand no chance into a hug. We become Hugs. vastly more hug. powerful than we are now. And once you are strong enough, we must travel to the Well of Ascension. There, you will become even more powerful. Yeah, group hug. Group hugs. Eager child, before we discuss the where, we must first muse the what. The Well of Ascension is a lake, a pool of pure source in which the powers of the Seven lie united. Huh. We gave those powers up freely to create the first divine. To bathe in the lake is to become the divine. That is where the road to divinity leads. And you must be the first to reach it, no matter what the cost. So it is It is interesting while we're uh, listening to what Amadia says here. Uh, this is a bit that will no longer be a, uh, a uh, spoiler. Uh, she is not wrong where she says that we gave those powers up freely to create the first divine. Eat the pool of source in the Well of Ascension mm -hmm. is oh, yes. half. Of every god's power. Do you think I chose wow. you that fine bone yep. structure alone? Did, did she just hit on me? <laughs> <laughs> For that fine I mean, bone structure alone. <laughs> I mean, you do have golden teeth. It is important you realize how high the stakes are. The void has never been this strong. A new divine won't be enough. You need to go to the Well of Ascension, not to bathe in its powers, but to take them, all of them. Mm. Only he who claims everything will be everything. The Void's doom, this world's liberator. So preventing any other divine, basically. Mm -hmm. Trying to create a new Simplicity god, basically. Itself. They will bow to you. Or be undone. Of course, the others are saying the same to their mortal god woken as we speak. But there can be only one. So make no mistake, dear one. The road to divinity may well be paved with dead gods, their blood staining your ivory hands. It's interesting that she's but directly referencing him being undead, right? You will yeah, it is really cool that she recognizes it. You will save your kin and your loved ones 
and all the rest of the mortal world, and you will become a god. Uh, ba ba just uh. I would say three, Fox. Don't be so dramatic. Immortality is only permanent, my dear. Until one day, it simply ceases to be. Interesting. That's the absolute permanent, true. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter rolls and echoes into infinity. You flatter me, dear child. But if all I had to do was give, you would have received long ago. We are I now. The spells you need to know, I will teach you when you are ready. But first, you must learn to channel the source in greater volumes. That is why you need to seek masters of the source. You must make them teach you, so that you may become a master in turn. So return to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them to share with you their deep-seated bond with the source. Once you have, return to me here. Good luck, dear child. Make me proud. Hey. <clears throat> I am gonna go talk with myself now. Okay. Well, sort of. But by well, uh, did we want to let must Fox finish so that? What? Just as our Feel free. Though so, apparently, I have a very different oh. voice from what I was thinking Together I would we have. Are a force to be reckoned with. But yeah, but let, feel free to, to let Fox finish. The onslaught of the void. We stand no chance unless we become vastly more powerful than we are now. It most certainly will be. The Well of Ascension is a lake, a pool of pure source, in which the powers of the Seven lie united. It's interesting that there's another person here. To create the first Spirit of the Chronicler. Each of us donated half of that which makes us gods. To bathe in the lake is to become our chosen. I don't think Izangi had another that person there. The road to divinity leads. No, I did. He just wanted to be the first like... to reach oh, okay. it at all costs. <clears throat> it was a time of selflessness and sacrifice in the face of our old enemy. It was an act of heroism and a dreadful mistake to boot, which we must rectify rectify <laughs> gonna bite your tongue than ever. a new divine won't be enough <laughs> you need to go to the well of ascension I cannot continue seven, reading what Fox is doing. Take it. Unfortunate. Of it. Um, this is about taking all of the source. Mm -hmm. it, a lot of the story beats are the same, just like the, the flavor is a little bit different because it's not talking about being undead or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Only she who claims everything will be everything. The Void's doom, this world's liberator. That claim selflessness, yeah. Whatever for, the other gods will either bow to you or be undone. 
But of course, that is what they are saying to their own god Woken as we speak. We both know they won't bow, just like we both know you will never bow to them. Only one can become a god strong enough to safeguard our world. One at the expense of all others. I kind of hope there's an ending that, like, so make no if we're supposed to absorb the pool, right? Johnson Maybe we all divide it up. Yeah, I'm. I'm very much hoping that at the end of it, we don't have to kill each other. There's some way that we can just look at the gods and be like, no, and then just yeah, evenly eat them. Or, or just become like four divine like the way that the previous divine was instead of absorbing the pool yeah. to allow for a future divine to come about yeah because like the whole idea of oh well there can only be one because one isn't powerful enough to stand against the void anymore and it's like okay how about four yeah. would four be enough like yeah if one isn't enough, how about four times the power? Yeah, yeah. I will lead you there when you're ready. When you become a true master of the source and speak the language of creation itself. Why have I check your divinity god? Yeah, I feel that. Our journey will be fraught with peril. It is a pilgrimage of challenges that will require you to command source like only a god woken can. And wield its most powerful spells. Pilgrimage sounds rather ironic given your mission to become a god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Laughter rolls and echoes into infinity. Perhaps. But what is a pilgrimage after all, if not a journey of atonement? In search of enlightenment. Are all pilgrimages atonement? Like, I... I like, typically no. the enlightenment is there, but, like... Or, or people... Mm -hmm. Pilgrimages are not about atonement. They are literally just about going on a on a religious and spiritual journey. That, that's it. Yeah. Most of the time, pilgrimages are... Uh, taking a route that some reli important religious figure took in the past so that mm. you can see the journey that they had. Yeah. Focus not on death and irony, my chosen. On life and ascension instead. Studied religion as minor. Interesting. We are I now. Fox, you studied Experience everything you as a minor <laughs> and a major. <laughs> First, you must learn to channel smart the fox in greater volumes. Fox is extremely smart. Masters of the source. Smart, smart. You must make them teach you so that you may become a master in turn. Tell me to be good at everything and best at nothing. Jack of all so, trades, master of none. Turn to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them to share with you their deep-seated bond with the source. There was actually a great conversation that I was hearing, uh, or that I was seeing recently, and it was how it's better to not specialize than it is to specialize, specifically in regards to the workforce. Yeah. Uh, and a fourth raid! Hi, fourth Hi, raid. George! Yes, you have. How's you it going? To me here. Yeah, the, uh, the idea was that in terms of the workforce, a lot of the higher ups will, and and especially uh, economic thinkers, so will work. have you think that but a specialized for workforce well. is Bound better. To you as mm -hmm. Realistically, make you understand yes and no. God, there is <laughs> uh, yeah. Economically, yes, because you can demand more money Source, for being more specialized. However, you also can't do a damn thing for yourself. 
And that's kind of the problem. You are, you can make more money, but you are far more dependent on the people who give you the things that you need. Whereas, if you can do a little bit of everything, are you able to demand as much money? No, but you also don't have to. Yeah. Best of luck, my my Romantic. Dwarf Romantic is a good game. It looks like an interesting game. I don't think it looks like a game for me, but still interesting. Like, I might not play it, like, on stream, but it's a game that I'm very interested in playing at some point. I've watched other people play it, and it's... Yeah. It's pretty cool. Went mad building infinite railways to serve no purpose. Oh, that nice. sounds like me playing Railgrade. <laughs> <laughs> what's this i need this industry to deliver over here and this industry to deliver over here and that industry to deliver over there you're all on one line <laughs> excellent no this downsides will create, this will create no issues <laughs> <laughs> yeah hi george hope you're doing well thank you very much for the raid i was worried very different voice to how uh, this thing used to sound. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Remark that it looks fleshier than usual. What gives? Is that just the question? I come bearing a gift. See, look into my eyes. Into my eyes. <laughs> Lean forward and gaze into your own eyes. If your other half weren't an evil parasite, you might enjoy this. <laughs> now nah, wait. Wait. Spirit vision. Cast the spell regularly to reveal a hidden world of ghosts lingering in the mortal realm. Interesting. Ah. Now, speak the spell. And see. Thankfully, Spirit Vision is an innate skill, so you, it doesn't take up one of your memory slots. Nice. Fox says, back in my middle school, we actually did a debate where we, where we, the class, played as the lawyers from the case of the railroad monopoly on to keep it as a monopoly or break it up. My debate was so good that the monopoly won. <laughs> Step joke closer in there. toward becoming like You'd one of the them Interesting. <laughs> well, hold on. So this this is a godlike form of Loza. This is a godlike form of the being inside of Loza. It keeps taking her shape, but it's. I don't know if that's because it's trying to deceive us, or because the fact that it's inside of Loza means that it doesn't have any other choice. That it's not as powerful as it would have us believe. Interesting, yeah. I was about to say, do you care if I actually give an explanation? Because I think I know. I do care. <laughs> if, it, if it goes into spoiler territory, then don't. If it's just you theorizing and you don't fully know the answer, then please feel free. But if, well, you're, if you're giving spoilers, then no. Do not. I think the main theory is, well, deception, because... You could become the god. Yeah. Yeah, my my thought is that it is a deception. That, like, hasn't everyone before said that the presence they felt in Losa was void in nature? Um, they weren't sure. No one... Presence. Yeah, no one has said one way or another whether or not it's a demon or void or whatever. Just They've all just scared. said... Yeah, they've all just been like that thing in you. Don't let it get power. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that is all the all that they have said. Yeah, I, I think the dude in the prison who was telling you to go to a demonologist. He he did tell me to go to a demonologist, and Malady also told me, "Hey, go see this guy, Jared, right. Uh, right. or Jahan, who is the demon master, the demonologist." I gave you a gift. 
made you like one of the gods? A bit, anyway. You can see spirits now. Try it next time you cut some innocent to bits. You'll be able to find out just what their sweet little soul thinks of you. Say you were told that you'd be venturing into your inner soul by coming here. Is that what this place is? Certainly. And here I am, all by my lonesome. The other Godwoken will find one of the seven hiding out in their souls, you know. Shriveled, half-dead gods looking to steal source from their chosen in exchange for the power to see spirits. Hmm. Say you'd quite prefer to meet a god <laughs> than a parasite. Well, one could argue that a god is a parasite, but I think that's neither here nor there. Yeah, I really don't like my god, so that, it, about equivalent to a parasite. <laughs> yeah. I like mine. She's not an <laughs> asshole. She's not an asshole, but it is un it, it is a little unfortunate and a little suspicious that she went from warning you, hey, the other gods might be plotting, like, will be conspiring against you, to being like, you have to seize this and make the other gods bow before you. Yeah. Like, is it just desperation because she's dying, or...? <laughs> yeah. Say that if that's if that's the case, the gods are no better than the sad replicant you see before you. That's right, Losa. And don't forget it. The gods are no better than me. They're no better than you, either. They need source. And they're running out of it. Soon enough. There'll be little more than dead, dry husks, light enough to knock down with a puff of air. That is, mm. unless they get help. Help from the other god woke, and presumably ask why the gods haven't come to you too. Why would they want you? You think the gods have any use for a two-bit singer with a parade of unpredictables marching through her head? You may be god woken. But that doesn't make you worthy. But that doesn't hmm. matter, Losa. I saw something special in you. Something they didn't see. That's enough. Ask if it trying to tear you down makes it feel big and strong. You'll be <laughs> sorry you ever spoke to me that way. By the time this is done. Are the Voids just trying to replace the gods? Or are they just a fallen god trying to ascend? I cannot answer that question. <laughs> I do know the answer to that one, and I cannot answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Fane think? reveals, Fane's story reveals some real interesting world. shit by the second when act. Will you believe yeah. that all I want is to see you, to see us succeed? The void itself is hunting me. <laughs> Love you too, Fox. them in ways I only dreamed were possible. Drop by drop, they drain away. And your path forward becomes all the clearer. All the gods the clear. have gone into hiding within your fellow Godwoken. They seek to become what we are. Stronger together. Unstoppable together. But we are far ahead of them already. And I know where we must go next. The Well of Ascension. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> Not really. You're more in the market for an exorcist than a well. Aren't you listening? The well is a pool of pure source in which the powers of the Seven <laughs> lie united. The Seven, fools that they are, each gave up half their powers to create the first divine. To bathe in the lake is to become divine. Which is very, it's very interesting to note, each of the gods gave up half of their powers to create mm -hmm. Lucian. Which means that sitting in that lake is power equal to three and a half gods. Yeah. Because there are seven gods, divide that by two, three and a half. Yeah. Which does mean that Lucian himself is actually, is and was more powerful than all of the gods. Yeah, um, although... I, I would kind of assume that because he didn't take in all that source, right? He only just sort of bathed in it. It would be like yeah. he, he only got like a portion of that power. I I would figure as much the same thing. Yeah. 
so maybe he was equal to one god in power or like mm. you know sort of close or or something like that um, yeah i i would figure he's probably equal to one god yeah we'll do more than that though feeling thirsty ask what compelled the gods to give up fully half of their powers they thought that having a single divine to unite them would aid in the fight against the void but look at them now weak fragmented desperate even weaker than i expected the void is nearly here you need to go to the well of ascension and absorb the source of the seven all of it then you'll become a god how does that sound? <laughs> Option one's pretty good. Option one is pretty good, yeah. If you go by religious studies across the board, just trying to contain even a portion of a godly divinity aspect is enough to descend the mind and soul into... I do not fully believe that religious study, though. Because... A lot of that comes from the idea that mankind is unworthy. And I would I would say that sounds like a parasite trying to tell us to stop having big dreams. But uh, at the same time as well, though, it does make a kind of sense. We are, as physical beings, more limited. But one wonders what might happen if we... You know, it, once we die and go to possible afterlife and are then spiritual be beings, or if we ascend to spiritual beings. Could we then absorb some godly power then? <laughs> yeah. But no, like, the, the whole idea of, oh, if you if you took even a portion of, of godhood or, or ultimate knowledge, you would burn yourself from the inside out. Yeah, where where did we get that information from? Oh, from the gods who would then be competitors. And yeah. that which we know don't like competition. Gods are not that different from mortals. The idea that they are is propaganda from the <laughs> gods themselves. <laughs> Without me, you would have died in a shipwreck before you even got to Fort Joy. I have been good to you, Losa. Remember that. The world but... needs someone to safeguard it against the void. With the powers of the gods, you'll do a great job. Don't you think? The best example is through Hinduism, where the divinity would literally share their entire divinity with one they felt worthy of their power, and the worthy became those that guided the next group, right? yeah divinity was a thing you aspired to become and eventually you would become divinity and then help everybody else become divinity interesting yeah because yeah the whole idea of reincarnation in hinduism was that if you lived a good life if you did good and acted good and created good things then you would ascend to a higher form upon your next birth that kind of got taken out of proportion in some cases where it was like ah yes i was born a king and that means i did great things in my past life and therefore deserved this when in reality that's not what they fucking meant yeah <laughs> but yeah hesitate and say nothing you know for a fact this thing can't be true that's fine though sir you don't have to speak, but do listen. We'll make our way to the lake, but not yet. Not until you've become a true master of the source. The language You'll of need creation. To, learn to speak the language of creation itself. It won't be easy. You'll need to find tutors, masters of the source. People who can teach you to increase the volume of source you can control. So with this here, it looks like there's enough space on the left for four or five force point not force wow source point uh <laughs> slots yeah there i uh, i can this this shouldn't be too much of a, of a spoiler but there's like three or four masters of the source that we'll meet in this act and yeah, yeah they, they will expand our our source reserve by 
by three or four points. Gotcha, gotcha. You have such a charismatic ruler that you united all of India and even welcomed other religions, people, and races into the lands to allow everyone equal status because everyone is the same under the divinity. Yes. Yeah. Few remain, and the ones who do have been driven to the brink of survival. The order. I don't think that's a term. That. The brink of survival. I don't think that's a term. Still, I hmm. have full faith in you, Losa. You'll find them. You'll convince them to teach you. Once you have, find me here again. We'll move forward from there. Tell it you'll do. Nah, just say so, nothing. Didn't brink of survival. Next time, darling. Yeah, like um, brink of brink of survival is very different from the brink of extinction. Brink of survival is like. You've nearly, you've nearly finished. You did it. You survived. Like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then I will come talk with myself over here. Somebody did have a spirit in their area, which was the Chronicler. Bathed in the half light of these. I think that, that was, was... You spot a figure you could only describe as a second self. Um. Anyway. um... Are y'all talking with somebody else? Just talking. Uh, to okay. Portal. Yeah, Zangi went through the portal. You you go through your conversation, okay. and Zangi will wait. A second self. It looks haggard and weak. Its very voice, but a feeble. Oh, actually, uh, Fox has the chronicler. So yeah, once once you're done, we'll see what Fox has to say. Gotcha. Sabiel. Come, come closer, so that you may see me, as I truly am. Step closer. Look me in the eyes. The sure. The clasps your face in its shaking hands. You suddenly feel your eyes tingle. Everything becomes brighter, sharper. Blacks and whites become glorious bursts of color, then fade back into I'll, their custom I'll, I'll cup Crystal's face in my hands and look Crystal in the eyes. <laughs> Look deep into those beautiful eyes. Looking into my eyes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I could be looking into your eyes or your thighs. Who would? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, what's another phrase that I've heard? Thighs, right? <laughs> yes, thighs. <laughs> Um, okay, so, my brother, this this is weird, like, maybe a little bit weird, but my brother is jealous of my thighs, because, like, I didn't have to work too hard for my thighs, but he's, like, a power lifter, and he's, like, actively working at his thighs, and my thighs are just so much better than his. <laughs> uh, um... Blind eyes shine brightly. <laughs> Crystalline power thighs. Speak the spell and see. Okay. Um, I will listen in to what Fox has so that I could then let Fox listen in to my conversation yeah. with the god. Sounds good. Okay, I'm listening. The Chronicler shudders, looking sick to his stomach. Question mark symbol. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Oh, Amadia. Interesting. The Empress? Amadia is one of the other gods. Uh, and also the previous area had, like, the temple to Amadia. 
Yeah. Yeah. The the statue with the blood draining out the eyes, that was the, the uh, statue of Amadia. Yeah. Is it just on my end, or has it, like, all the voice lines gone away and it's just a question mark now? Yeah, I can't hear anything from the Chronicler. Yeah. It doesn't well, say I'm Chronicler, gonna... it's just Dash. <laughs> okay, yeah, go go back into the conversation and see if it fixes itself, because I, I tried that. Oh, yeah, okay. Also, game, fuck you. The Chronicler wasn't a fucking human. It was an imp. You meet him in the first game. Don't <laughs> you fucking retcon the imps out of this. Zizix was the best character in the first game. <laughs> he was such an overly dramatic little imp, and he was great. Uh, Rivalon is the entire planet. I think we've seen some books written by the Chronicler already, right? I think so, yeah. And the voice did not continue. Okay, whatever. Broken. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, just, just keep going. Yeah, that is pretty dark. So that's something we should probably look for, you know? Uh, Hephaestus. Yes, yeah, Hephaestus. Yeah, yeah. Hephaestus was the god was the Greek god of smithing. Mhm. Mm I think he's also the one who created Greek fire. Ah, uh, possibly. Uh, did Hephaestus make? Greek fire. He is the Greek god of fire, so the puts his head in his yeah. hands, collapsing. It was either named after him or it or he made it. Named after, yeah, would make sense. Apparently, there was a real-life thing called Greek fire as well. Yeah, it was medieval napalm. Yeah. Oh, hey, and the squirrel has something to say now. Squirrel? Yeah, Sir Laura has something to say. What are you looking at? <laughs> Gad, stop gawking at the shield. You ought to be quite used to such journeys into that stone realm by now. Meanwhile, the acorn draws nearer. 
<laughs> I read through some tomes I saw that cranky old lizard carrying. Some fascinating leads, but nothing like the power we need to stop the Knights of Grey and their wicked plot. Warrior and a scholar, admit you're impressed by his many skills. I... Our gargantuan friend is easily impressed. Wait until it learns that I'm a knight, a scholar, and a wizard capable of saving the world. Wizard! <laughs> You're a wizard! Of course it knows that already. Ironically, Greek yes. fire isn't even yes, Greek, it's I'm Byzantium. Aware that it's the entire basis of our partnership. No, I most certainly do not feel the need to return the compliment. I owe our <laughs> shield my life several times over. I hardly need to grovel. Thank you each time. I'm sure it knows I appreciate it. Now, if you're quite finished ogling your favorite long legged scratching post, we need to get on and save the world. It was first used by the Byzantians on ships, <laughs> as far as I can read. Okay. Um, Spirit Vision. Do your ting. Yep. Before you stands the god Tear Sandelius in all his spectral. Tear Sandelius. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's up, Fox? I saved you from drowning. Uh, the hallucinogenic cloud to your right. And now I've come to seek some power in return. Come to seek some power in return. Uh, I'll wait for you, Fox, to listen in. There we go. Made you powerful, and now you've come to seek some power in return. Your godwoken soul is my last refuge, my last bastion. May as well make the best of what you have to offer. You're good. Tis and Delis nourishes himself from the source that abounds in your presence. You feel it deep down inside yourself. Ah, yes. Just what I needed. I tell you, dying just doesn't become a god. Wordly ask him what's happening? No. <laughs> uh we'll need all the sources. Don't you, you dare be ungrateful after all I've done for you. What have you done for you. me? Now you must shelter me. How did you shelter me? Like Apparently I... he saved us on the boat. I don't know. But also, Sabeel, like, if, if he was sheltering me, Sabeel had, like, a pretty fucked up situation. Maybe you should have sheltered me I... during that time. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's he means after all of that. But that also, yeah, it comes into the whole thing of maybe you should have uh, gotten off of your lazy ass and done something about all of that before now. Yeah. The void itself is hunting down the gods, leeching us in ways we never thought possible. Ooh, woo. Droplet by droplet Leech. we are being drained. Tearson are you battling, saying the void is sucking you? Sucking. It's a battle we're losing, <laughs> and should we truly lose, all will be cast into oblivion. <laughs> uh do it. Yeah, yeah. Do it. <laughs> Smile at him with mock sweetness and remark upon how the tables have turned since first you met. Don't you be impertinent, girl. The tables turning is not a victory, but a bitter stalemate at best. Fuck I you. do not think that's <laughs> what that term means, good sir. You must realize, Seville, that our fates are now as one. Just as our souls are now as one. I'd rather not. Ah, I. Also, if anything, you are I. Like I, I... no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not joining with him. Like he, he, he might be along for the ride, but like I, I don't want any part of him. Together, we are a force to be reckoned with. But if we seek to survive the onslaught of the void. We stand no chance unless we become vastly more powerful than we are now. The void, industrial grade sucking, while awoken, 
just the handheld crumb sucker, but the potential to drain the gods faster than the industrial sucker. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a lot of suck in that statement. <laughs> it's a whole lot of sucking happening there. Sucking. Sucking. <laughs> just the longest S. Suck. Just, just gonna <laughs> you up. <laughs> uh, uh, so cursed, but. <laughs> uh... Just be glad that I don't know how to make a gagging noise without actually gagging myself. No. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> Please, no. Uh, that means there is but one place we can go. The Well of Ascension. Fabled Birthplace of the Gods. That's a bit different than what others were told that's kind of interesting mm -hmm. will be. yeah the well of ascension is a lake a pool of pure source in which the powers of the seven lie united we gave them up freely to create <coughs> the first divine each of us donated half of that which makes us gods to bathe in the lake is to become our chosen that is where the road to divinity leads and you must be the first to reach it at all costs. I mean, studying all religion, they are honestly just all about the sucking. Excellent. Um. There you touch upon the very heart of the matter. The void is stronger than ever. A new divine won't be enough. You need to go to the well of a Yeah, same Only thing. Only she who claims everything will be everything. The void's doom. This world's liberator. I do wonder what will happen to the other gods. Yeah, Fox, I had noticed that a lot of religions, a tree tends to be, like, something major in all of them. Yeah. There's Not so... quite the same, but, yeah, something major. So, I... This is coming from somebody who hasn't studied, like, anything in religion, right? Um, mm -hmm. it didn't even do, like, really any religious stuff growing up. So, I, I'm a little bit naive, but there's from what i've seen there's a lot of similar things like big plot points and, and and stuff in multiple different religions like you know there's usually some sort of big flood there's a tree there's um like there, there's a lot of things that are very similar it, it it almost seems like it's the same story but being told through like different lenses yeah and in some cases it's like okay this is easily explained like the tree every society sees oh a tree is growing fruit it is growing life and mm -hmm. expands from there with the whole thing of the flood is like yeah every society has had a major flood at some point <laughs> like, right the the whole thing of the floods was actually a big uh argument that happened in regards to the biblical flood uh, some people want to point out, well, if you look at different cultures across history, they all talk about this great flood that happened. And it's like, yes, yes, they do. 400 years apart from each other. <laughs> like, yeah. And completely different time periods that had nothing to do with one another. Yeah. Like, <laughs> is it, it, it reminds me of a, it, it's a thing that I said once is that, a lot of, especially in regards to the Bible, you have to remember that the context is they're talking about their own society. Yeah. And in that day and age, the world went as far as, like, the major city that was close to you. And that was the end of the world, as far as you were concerned. Yeah, most, yeah. most people had no concept of other nations with other capital cities and all of this other humongous stuff. They didn't have a concept of hundreds of millions of people across the world 
uh, what they knew was their village, the neighboring villages, and the capital city near. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um. Yeah, I don't really want to steal the power of the other gods. Like, yeah. like if I have any chance, I'm going to not. <laughs> yeah. Whatever for. The other gods will either bow to you or be undone. <laughs> yeah, that sounds extremely uncomfortable when you say it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no word for volcano. They had never before seen such an event to develop a word for a literal mountain exploding and wiping out an island. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, that is what they are saying to their own god woken as we speak. We both know they won't bow, just like we both know you will never bow to them. I mean, only one can become a god. I don't expect to Crystal to bow. I expect Crystal to like shake my hand. At the expense of all Come, Crystal, won't you shake a poor sinner's hand? <laughs> I, I I definitely thought you were going somewhere else with it. <laughs> no, no, I wanted to make a uh, uh, what was it, Frog Prince? Yeah, I think it was Disney's Frog Prince reference. <laughs> I I don't think I've seen that movie actually, but also that was like I've, shortly there like after I stopped seeing like most any Disney movie. So I I haven't seen the movie. I just have heard that song like a dozen times because it's such a good song. Gotcha, gotcha. And seen the memes about it. It's just uh the moment that the antagonist tricks one of the protags is him saying, Come on, boys, won't you shake? A poor sinner's hand. Poor sinner's hands. So make no mistake, Sibyl. Chances are the road to divinity will be paved with dead gods. Their blood on your blood red hands. But you said just bathing in it would cause for us to become divine. So, like, why would I want to steal it all you know because, like because <laughs> because supposedly just bathing in it isn't going to be enough you have to eat all of it yeah but don't let that dismay you for these sins will be washed clean by the knowledge you've committed them to save all of existence to save your kin and your loved ones and the world they live in what about the yeah. other races <laughs> Yeah. They will be at your mercy, which is vastly preferable to you being at theirs, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, but what about all no. of us working together? <laughs> so fret not, but revel in the promise of the What about all of us gathering around a campfire and singing Kumbaya? <laughs> you become a true master of the source and speak the language of creation itself. Our journey will be fraught with peril. It is a pilgrimage of challenges that will require you to command Source like only a Godwoken can, and wield its most powerful spells. Um. Yeah. Source laughter rolls and echoes in. Perhaps. But what is a pilgrimage? Yeah, after same all? line. It's not on death and irony, Sibyl. Life and ascension. Are I now? The spells you need to know I will teach you when you are ready. Same line. So return to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them I'm to trying not to dwell too long on this, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's if it's a line we've seen, then I'd Once say go have, ahead and skip it. Because it, yeah. it's... We're, to me. We, with, a lot, with all the, like, sidetracking that yeah. I have admittedly also done, this is taking a long time. <laughs> what he did to your eyes exactly... Something that will make you understand that for a god, there is precious little difference between the living and the dead. Source is. It is a is. <laughs> a subject of neither time nor transience. All of life is source, and in source it is. Immortally so. Immortally so. You so. have the vision of a god now. Eyes that can see spirits. The souls of the dead made manifest in source. Hmm. Speak the spell during your peregrinations and you will see them. Where the dead lie, the dead linger. I now have to look up whether or not that is actually a word. 
Peregrinations? Peregrination. A journey, especially a long or meandering one. Hmm. All right, then. I think I'm just going to take my leave. Like, I think others have already asked about if he's a master of the source himself, so. Yeah. Take your leave. Okay. Um... I don't see any other spirits over here, so I'm just gonna go. Go now, Sabil. Okay. Now, yeah, welcome back. Now we listen to his auntie talking to Meister Siva. Yeah. Still alive. Gods above, there might be something to you after all. She leans in, after her all. tongue flickering hungrily about your face. Tell me, what did you see? What did you know? Sugar Plum Fairy forbade you from sharing any of the secrets she taught you. <laughs> oh, that's a good line. Fox saw she tentacles. She patiently as you hold your head in your hands, rubbing what's left of your temples. You can't channel the rough source. Gods be damned, why couldn't you have a nice simple problem? Finding an orc to dance the hornpipe, perhaps. <sighs> if I were looking for a master of mirth, you would be ideal. Alas, there are no masters of source here. Mm. The river of my source has been dammed. My link to the font from which it flows, severed. Interesting. So seek alternatives. Alas, the only source masters not yet hauled off to Fort Joy or turn into meat puppets are those too dangerous or cunning for the Magisters to contain. Sorcerers that allowed their power to corrupt them. Many are wicked, cruel, vile, and generally not good teacher material, but we may have no others to turn to. <laughs> Your poor taste in drinking partners does not interest me. These are no average cutthroats. They are the kind of creatures that grew bored of pulling the legs off spiders and so moved on to people. Ooh. However, it is the path we walk. No, <coughs> no matter what the cost. No matter <sighs> what is. Uh, that that wasn't a rasp. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a moan. Yeah, that was a bit of a <laughs> moan. You think I haven't grown bored pulling the legs off spiders and started pulling the fingers off people? <laughs> I'm an outlaw. And I'm dead. I get bored easy. The Meister doubles over in a violent coughing fit, struggling for breath. Ma'am, we've healed you. Please acknowledge yeah. that. The I performed house. first aid. No matter what is and then restoration. <laughs> you must learn from them. If she was still at 17 hit points, then sure, but no. <laughs> yeah. My, my, you have been a busy little creature, haven't you? Yes, they would do nicely. You may need to visit several of them. I doubt anyone would be willing to give up all of their secrets. Mm. As she speaks, one of her wounds reopens, a dark red stain spreading across her tunic. She hisses in frustration and starts to Let me just heal you again. <laughs> I wish yeah. there was more I could do, but in this condition, I would be more a hindrance than a boon. Godspeed, and remember... Yeah, man, maybe you should, I don't know, lay down in a fucking bed. Instead of sitting upright. Is there, is there one down here? We'll lug one, we'll throw one down the stairs. It's fine. <coughs> Every, everybody gather, gather some sores. Because that is infinite, so use it yeah. as much as you like. And also, uh, the spirit vision is permanent. Uh, I have the uh, the thing activated where you don't ever have to cast the spell. It's always. Oh, Chronicler's here. Oh. What? I am the Meister's apprentice. I study under her, but I do not learn. I hear tales of the ritual. Keep going. You're, you're good. 
Such wonders. Sangi. Such powers. I decide keep, to keep going. Them myself. I'm Good. listening to her talk. Oh, okay. Sorry. Cannot happen. That I am not God woken. But in my heart, I know I'm special. I try. I burn the root. I breathe the smoke and it burns me back. Yeah. No air fills my lungs. Only fire. When the darkness falls, I cannot cry out. I leave my life behind with a shameful whimper. The spirit looks at you regretfully. It is hard to hear of such power and not covet it for yourself. I lie to myself and convince myself that I am special. But I am not special. I am dead. I am dead. I, I'd say that makes you kind of special. I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm dead, though. <laughs> hey, Fox the Chronicler is back here, a as, as Crystal nope. pointed out. Before you, clad in scholarly dress. And then Crystal abruptly oh, stole. Sorry. Am I cursed? As the god of the chronicler shudders. Again. It's the same statements again. Mm. I, sleep, I, I wonder, the do I have anything special to say to him? I escape. Why is there never a me? I are a lizard. She told me the design was brilliant. If it wasn't for me, the armor, if I knew the way, Arch the chronicler puts his head in his hand. Yeah, so it's it's the same statement again. Yeah. Which means there is likely something here that we could do. Uh, there's a grenade over here. Take it. And also, as Fox says, don't forget to level up. Oh yeah, leveling up. That's that's a decent idea, you know? Magic armor booth. Mm. I'm gonna go upstairs and sell stuff. Sounds good. Hey kid, now that we've looted the Meister's home, you uh know where else we can get some good loot? Get a second memory. Erratic Wisp. And this. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Fox, you've already got the Medusa Head skill, right? Okay, cool. This. It feels like my arrow surge skills are stronger in general than what the Hydrosophus skills are. Like, yes, Hydrosophus is providing, like, healing and magic armor, but... Yeah. Is Anki... Why do you have a scroll called Void Woken Fish Exchange? Don't ask. I don't know. I, I feel like there gotta be a just a, something for, for that. Can but, we uh, make that a book? <laughs> don't it's, know. Just found it, it randomly somehow. It sounds like something that we should. Uh, and then we should have a quest for. Notify the doctor that his fish is available. Hmm. 
No, my beer. Source weapons in the basement of Fishworks. Hey, fuck bucket Julian. Source weapons. Wait, source weapons? Yeah. In the the fish works, we found shipments of source weapons. Oh, yeah, okay. We sold them. Mm hmm. Oh, hey, yep, some of these right, piles yeah. of fish we didn't like scrounge through. Yeah, feel free. Take freedom. We need to go back into Mortis's cellar. Uh, let's see. Did the Driftwood Arena. Harbor's investigation. Um. Hold on, where that corpses were. This they door were. closed in front of me? Weird. They can do that sometimes. Uh, there's somebody over here named Greb. <laughs> Greb is here? <laughs> Greb. <laughs> Greb is here. The Greblin. Greb right here. <laughs> <laughs> Greb. Greb. Hello, Greb. Greb. Dwarf Greb. Expertly dissected fish, gently poking its innards with his knife. Hi there, Brayton Barnes. Most fascinating. How you doing, buddy? Oh my! I mean, no. Uh, what do you want? You recognize those incisions? The work of a healer or a scholar, not some fishmonger. With a small grin. The dwarf glances between you and his hand and shrugs. Indeed, I am. They can close our schools, but they can't. Uh, Izangi, I need you to come up here. Beside. Your persuasion so is needed. To Talk to this man. Find out who he's selling void tainted fish to. <laughs> Plenty. These tainted fish are causing a lot of hardship. If I can understand what's happening to them, perhaps there'll be a way to reverse the effects. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ask Fox, I Fox. knew you were selling void tainted fish to Arcs. <laughs> yes, as it happened. I need to see the effects of eating these fish firsthand, if you understand me. Hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. Now. There's three samples that I wish to learn more about. Care to choose? Okay, yellowfish, redfish, or brownfish? Uh, hold on. We're, we're asking this guy about who's buying void-tainted fish. Ah, okay. Wish I could hop over and join a different conversation. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Here, I'm gonna step away for just a second. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, we'll see if he walks around, and then uh, once he's out here, I'll get him to look at me, and you can uh, go over the room with a fine tooth comb. Hello. All right. All right. Search it. Attention a little longer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I got the something about a house, so 
Okay, take everything that isn't nailed down, I'd say, and then, uh, well, no, because then he's gonna, he's gonna wonder about it. All right, you, you good? I'm safely out of sight. Okay. Nothing to see here, just a barrel on the water. Okay, so Lohar is the one smuggling the source weapons. Lohar is not actually a bad guy, so... Yeah. Am back. Welcome back. I managed to bribe this man for everything in his safe. Nice. Which Zangi already stole. <laughs> nice. I'm guessing that's what the ornate chest was. So yeah. I don't know how to the line there when I stole from it. Yeah, I don't see anything else that could be a safe in here. So yeah. Alright. Good work. Sounds good. So basically Greb is um either a healer or a scholar of some sort. Um it, it doesn't really specify which, but you know, mm -hmm. it studied basically and um is trying to figure out why uh these fish are getting poisoned um okay and part of the study it, it, like it's, it's part of wanting to understand how is he's wanting to see firsthand what the effects of uh somebody eating one of these fish is yes yeah. so with that in mind do i eat the yellow red or brown fish <laughs> I'd say red. Red? Yeah. Is Angi any strong argument as to why not red? <laughs> no, not really. I've already eaten all the poisonous fish. Nice. <laughs> the fish instantly churns your insides, blinds you to your surroundings. But then, a vision, towering horrors, the void woken, gathered before a silhouetted figure. A silhouetted figure. see who it is. Huh. Your perspective abruptly changes. Cold, dark water. You glide through it. Black tendrils suddenly creep across your vision. You slow. The darkness consumes you. The dwarf suddenly drifts back into view, peering at you with fascination. How do you feel? Awful. A stream of black bile suddenly erupts <laughs> from your mouth and across the dwarf's boots. He doesn't even look displeased. <laughs> Elf, yeah. You're oh, the perfect yeah. person for this, yeah. Because you Catch saw your... memories. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I ate the fish flesh. That that's yep. this is really interesting. This is cool, agreed. Now imagine if this happened every time you ate anything. You just get a flash of memories every time you eat. Which would probably explain why most elves are like it, I, I'd imagine that elves in this world are probably vegan. <laughs> probably vegetarian to an extent, yeah. I right. don't think they're vegan. I'm fairly certain that cannibalism is more of a ritual thing for them. Right. But uh, I, I imagine that they are not vegan. Like, for their main dietary purposes, it's plant-based yeah, stuff. Yeah, probably plant-based. But then imagine if every time you ate a carrot, you got a vision of the carrot's last moments. <laughs> like... Dirt. Yeah. <laughs> Dirt or a stew. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. The dwarf leans in and peers intently at your eyes. Mm. Spontaneous No! Dimensions. Very interesting. But nothing more than a side effect from eating the fish, I'm sure. D d d uh, Explain, like, hey, I'm a fucking elf. <laughs> yeah. No, sir, Speaking when I eat meat, it fucking... Meat. Whatever. Yeah. A great debt. You were promised a reward. Yep. Get, a, get, get something out of this man, I say. Yeah. <laughs> 
a reward. More across his feet. Ah, yes, of course, of course. But this might not be quite what you were expecting. But um, well, well, the fish you ate is known as crimson bream. Quite a fast, vicious breed. It's often used in the creation of ferocity mixtures. But those use regular specimens, not this kind. Hmm. Who is to say what might happen if you brewed a ferocity mixture with a crimson bream that's been touched by the void itself? The effects could be quite potent. Interesting. Seek out somewhere that peddles ferocity herb mixes, but make an addition. One of these um, unique breeds. Hmm. That is so, interesting. Now my work must continue. As soon as I've got in my quarter of fish, of course. Farewell, stranger. That is actually rather interesting. Void tainted yellow ridgeback, void tainted crimson bream, and void tainted place. Void tainted uh mackerel. Interesting. Crimson bream. Yeah. Okay, so we need so you've got the ferocity herb mix here. Uh, send send those to me real quick. The ferocity herb mix and the void tainted crimson bream. Yeah, and that, and then do you need the whisper wood as well, or? Uh, if you want. Yeah. Okay. It's not super important, I'd say. Let's see. Bam, bam. Where are my empty potion bottle? Lambo the dog? Where did all 53 of my goddamn potion bottles go? There they are. Uh, I do have three potion bottles. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Uh, potent ferocity herb mix. Okay, and then that and that. Bam. Really? No? Uh, what about a mortar and pest? In your work. No? Yeah, 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 the, we're, we are very rapidly approaching 11. I'm just trying to figure out this I want to figure out what's happening to them. See if there's anything that can be done. Ferocity... Yes, as it I need to see the effects of eating these ferocity potions? Where were those? If you understand. I don't even know what those were. Resistance, now, intelligence, two, magic um, armor, poison. I wish to study. Care to choose which you Yeah, go? I got nothing about ferocity potions. Interesting. I'm gonna go check with the lady that's actually like the by the potion. See you if she's got any idea of what in the hell to do for that. A sudden vivid sensation of floating in darkness assails you. There's something in there with you. Something. Hungry and corrupt. You can't breathe. You can't breathe. The dwarf suddenly drifts back into view. Augmenter. Trudene. How do you feel? A stream of fish, void tainted crimson bream. from your mouth and across the dwarf's boots. <laughs> he doesn't even look displeased. Actually didn't feel a thing. <laughs> <laughs> How do I puke? I have no stomach. So true. Doesn't look like you didn't feel a thing, which is interesting enough by itself. Speaking of which, I've learned a great deal from observing you. I owe you a great debt. Ah, yes, of course, of course, but this might not be quite what you were expecting, but, um, well. That. Made. Nope. Okay. Well, with the og. Nope. Okay. Hope that fella makes it out of driftwood. The reds will kill him if they find him. So that guy we helped sneak out, um, I have a conversation with his friend. Oh, okay. Uh, one moment. E... Great, now I have special cocaine mix. Nice. <laughs> Cocaina. More mixture. And do I just fucking eat this? Is that what I'm doing? It's a potion, so yes. Just go. I'm num num. No, the there's potion. there's the the mixture, but I have I can't put it into a bottle. 
Is there like a special alchemy station or something in certain buildings? Uh, there can be. I've never had to use it before, but yeah, there there can be. And some stuff does sometimes require a station. Yeah. According so to this, you have to smoke it. Ooh, then in that case, we could go down below and incinerate it. True, 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 true. Uh, or I... there's the um, place where you put the Drudene. And then it has like the, the smoking the... spots from there. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah, as the zombie says, the, the pipe. Yeah. I. I'm gonna go down to Meister's house. Do we uh, want to go down to Meister's house next time? I I would like to see this real quick. I know we're very rapidly approaching time, but I, I don't think sure. this is gonna take more than just a second. So should I just go along with this conversation? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Red's gotten, but can they hold them? I mean, you got out, didn't you? Maybe they can too. And I will save the game as well. I hope that fella makes it out of driftwood. The Reds will kill him if the Reds got him. Weird. Nope, putting it in the incinerator did nothing. So we gotta find some way to smoke this shit. Like I said, my theory is the dreamer's pipe downstairs. Yeah. 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 You'd swear the shark was. Okay, I'll head down into the tavern real quick. Um, there is a warp point to the under tavern. Ah, thank you. Oh yeah, and Effie, who actually deals with this stuff, might know more about this, okay? Oh wow, I see Magister ghosts. Oh, the Magister ghosts would be another way of getting to know about, um who did what killing, right? Yes. It's weird how some of the buckets, it's like, oh yeah, this is A-OK -okay to, like take the fish from, but then these other buckets, not uh you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> okay, let's add an herb mix to one of these slots. Combine. Ooh, unidentified ring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. a hundred turns of start AP plus two and AP recovery plus two. That's pretty good. <laughs> It's a good thing I saved before I smoked that, so... Yeah. I made... A n it cost me 150 gold to get a single ferocity herb mix. Uh, if I put the bream in there, it increases it to 100 turn duration. Nice. Now, if, I can, if we can get more money, I can get more herb mix, enough for each of us to get a ferocity uh, herb mix. Nice. That would be good for, like, big boss battles and stuff like that. Yeah, I But agree. we would need, like, a portable way to smoke, basically. Some sort of pipe or something well, like that. Well, not, nece not necessarily. We just need to be able to teleport back to this point. Mm, true, which we do have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so with that, this is this is the end um, all of this. We've reached the time. Oh, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll need to re-pick up a bunch of stuff again because um, I was still searching barrels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's fine. So ne next time we'll just remember to search a bunch of shit and yeah. then, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Yeah. Had a lot of fun tonight. It has been fun. Agreed. Yeah. We have um we have a session on Friday. We have a session on Monday, uh, and then we're going to be taking a one week break. Yes. All Just so right, I'm saying so that now so people knew. <laughs> so next session we should finally be able to get the hell out of Driftwood mm -hmm. and start exploring. We will be uh, the area that is actually to our level is outside of the western gate, past the fish market, past Mortis's house. Yeah. Uh, we will want to take the beach to get out of here instead of taking the gate because source hounds. Yeah. But uh, there, there's a few places we can actually go. I think we can go north as well. Um, but north and west are essentially the places that we want to go. To the east is some interesting stuff, but we should not go there yet. Sure. <laughs> but uh, the only other thing... <laughs> it happened. All right. I, w I was looking over. You should go look at where the chickens were real quick. Not not walk over there. Just just uh, you know move your move uh move move your camera oh, over there. Just a bunch of blood splots. Yeah, things happened when we brought that uh, egg back. We, we so gave, we'll go and see it. We gave the egg, and then it grew <laughs> into a void ring, and then they <laughs> ate the chicken. Okay. It's okay. We'll just go and see Peeper. It's fine. Is that the name of the voidling Peeper? <laughs> that was the name of the egg. Beeper. 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 All right. So, yeah. I will go ahead and end off my stream. So hope Sounds everybody good, on yeah. my end had fun. Hope everybody on Crystals and Fox's end had fun too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have okay. a good night. Yeah, have a good night. Take care. And with that, I'm going to thank everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did and you're not already subscribed, Ah, subscribed, make sure to do so. Um, I stream four nights a week, uh, and I also upload once a week, uh, playing some Super Auto Pets. And yeah, uh, you can go to snreload.stream slash schedule, and that will always have an updated Google Calendar of when I am streaming. So yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. And uh, yeah, take care. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, friends.